right. So, just down here. Right, oh, if there's anybody watching, I think we've got five people watching and one like, so somebody's given a like to a blank screen. That's a strange thing to do. That is a strange thing to do, but look, we have a mad, look at the size of this. Look at the size of this. That is a beast. The size of my car, look at the size of that. Right. <laughs> right, look at the size of it. It's bloody huge. Right. Here's me standing next to it. Right, that is how big it is. It's big. It is bloody big. So, I'll, I'll take you on a walk, right? So if you go from here, right? So this is steps now, ready? So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, here's the size of my hand compared to the size of the boat. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's a beast. Look at the size of it compared to my car. <laughs> it's a beast. Is a proper beast, yeah. So, no complaints now from anybody that my boat ain't big enough because you can get six people, you can get six people on that side and six people on that side, 12 people. All right, now I gotta go and get a big bloody engine from somewhere to allow that to be a thing. Let me just get my uh, wow. Yeah, she definitely is. Oh, hang on. I tell you what, I think I might be better off with it like that, but uh, rotate device, it says. No, it won't let me. It's like, you must have your device on 4.3. You must have it. Now, let me see if I can get it sorted then. Oh, right. Live chat. Remember, I must da 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 da. Matt the smuggler. Yeah. Oh, my neighbours are going to go mental. It's actually a lot wider than I thought it was going to be as well. Um, can't wait to see her on the sea. Yeah. If I get it home without it falling off, that may be a thing. Yeah. Without it falling off the bloody thing. I mean, my, my, my neighbours are going to go mental. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Brake chain for it so if it were to come off the hook on the back the whole thing's gonna go well yeah i mean i may have to find somewhere to stow this because it might just literally be too big for me to get down the back and that's that's going to be a thing i think it's wider than my car it's wider than my car and this is a people mover it's wider than the people mover right and it's longer than the people mover. Oh yeah. It's a beast. It's a bloody beast. And I think I'm going to have great fun getting this in and out of the water. But we shall see. It's bouncing around on the back now. Boing, boing, boing. Now, I'm going to have to do what I normally do is get out there and check it after a mile because it'll have bounced around and it'll settle. Just tighten the ratchet straps over here. I'm going to do it here. Tighten the ratchet straps, then five miles, then tighten the ratchet strap. And then it should be good for the journey then. But yeah, yeah, indeed. So let's get it up on the side of the road. And I'm just going to, I've got 42 people in here. Thank you. So good morning. Merlin the Pigeon Whisperer. Merlin, check this out, mate. You ain't going to believe this. 
Right, hang on, I'll take the camera out there again for anyone that hasn't seen. It's 47 people, 47 people in a channel, 47 people with nothing better to do. See, I'm not wasting my time on YouTube. Well, I am, but I'm not. See, I'm not wasting my time. I'm not at home. I'm, I'm not at home. I'm doing it with a bloody big boat. Look at the size of it. Look at the size of this boat with me on it. Right, look at that. That's me on the boat. That's me on it. Can you see how big it is? That's me on the boat, and that's the rest of the boat. Can you see? Can you see how big that is? Look, that's me. There's the front of the boat. That's the rest of the boat. That's how big it is. It's a bloody beast. It's a beast. It's a beast. It's a beast. It's a beast. Right, hang on. I need to put my phone down because I don't want to drop it. Give me a second, folks. Give me a second. I need both hands to do this crap. I'm not going to mess around and end up dropping my phone. That would be silly. Right. What are you doing, Angel? Hey. Right, let's have a look at the, um, what size motor? Well, at the moment, it's a zero horsepower. It's a zero horsepower motor at the moment because I don't actually have one, Merlin. So, hello, Michael Garland. Hello, Sam and Jess. It is a beast. It is a beast. And I thought to myself, I could go for the next one down, but then I'll never be happy. Or I just say, fuck it and go for the really big one. So I went for the really big one. Now, everybody can get in this boat. Everyone in existence can get in this boat all at once. Yeah. So I'm just starting to drive. Let me just let, let this car go before I go. Um, but, but storage might be a bit of an issue because the neighbors, the neighbors may pull a, pull a wobbly, I don't know. Um, I think it looks okay. I think it looks quite sexy, but you know, you know what people are like. I mean, like on the one side, I have to put up with um, <laughs> them, their kids, their kids and kids, and uh, you know, listening to like, blah, 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 you know. Um, but then they have to put up with my music, which is not loud at night. And then uh, I think, I think, you know, I'm probably the, I'm probably the awkward one out of out of all of us so yes yeah, I'm the I'm the shitty one really whoa I'll make some funny funny simple dudunks on the back of the car you definitely feel this one when you're driving yeah anyway where am I going then uh, I've got no idea where I'm driving hang on a sec right sorry about that um, it is a beast. Now, the old one, right, check this out. The old one, I couldn't tell if it was back there, and I used to be paranoid that it had actually come off, and I'd lost it behind the car, and it was only when I'm turning a corner you could end up seeing it. This one, I can see it all the time, because it's wider than my car, on both sides. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um... It's Tom. Hope you're well. Roaring the unseen world. Hello, sir. Yes, bloody hell, Tom. What the hell? Goodness gracious, how are you doing uh, in the army now, sir? How are you getting on? Have you passed your basic training and you're on to, like, next level training? Or have you passed it all and you're now fully fledged, gun toting uh, Rambo clone? Yes. Um, so. I have to drive slow with this, so you may see me pull over a few times. I'm going to take a left up here, and I'm on to the A5 now. 
So if anybody was driving along the A5, uh, what was that place was called? Like Buxby, Buxby Station or Bucky Station or something, that place I was in, just in. I don't know what the hell it was called. Anyway. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I just spent a lot of money. I spent a hell of a lot of money. So. So, uh, yeah, we's all good, we's all good. Uh, yeah, the boat is now bigger than the other guy's life raft. Yeah, you could probably fit the life raft in the front half of this boat. Yeah. So, uh, but I, I'm not going to be uh, suggesting that they ever try and use that life raft again. Now what I'm thinking is I could probably get my other boat in this boat. I can actually get it in this boat and um, so I can travel with two boats. Look folks, two boats. So when I get to my destination we can offload the other boat and stick a small motor on it and other people can use that and um, then this one which will have a bigger motor on it. This can take the main the main amount of the crowd but we'll have a safety boat just in case so if something goes wrong we've got another boat that can uh, basically tow the other one in that's the theory anyway but this is a it's a solid boat it's actually got a rubber rubber uh, line so much fear of ripping because the old one you know the last one I had um, it was just a, a flat sided this one is a little bit more like that police boat that we got picked up by and that thing literally looked like it had um, tractor tyres were the edges of the boat. It was actually tractor tyres. It was all tractor all the way around, you know. It's like, there's no way you're going to puncture that thing unless you literally ram it into something at high speed, you know, into something sharp. That thing was built uh, to take some real crap. So this has got a little bit of that. Not, not completely, but a little bit of that. So... Um, but there's no way I'm going to be launching this uh, from by hand. This is you've got to reverse this into the water and then let it float off. So yeah, definitely big, definitely big. So uh, am I still on the radio? I am, but I, I very rarely use it now because there's not a lot of not a lot of people on to, to talk to, um, and I just don't get the time. Uh, I could probably uh, probably hook up with you on one of the um, oh, what do you call it now? Um, Echo Link, Echo Link repeaters. If you've got an Echo Link around you, around where you are, I'll come on the Swindon. I'll link the Swindon Echo Link to your Echo Link, and. Um, uh, you can, I think you can do like cross echo link or something, but yeah. Um, or I'll I'll radio I'll go through the internet into your echo link and I can speak to you that way if you're interested. Um, it's the black pearl. Yep. Oh yeah. I mean you know I'm not going to get fancy with trying to show you out of the back window, but it is. It's like a foot a foot that side and a foot that side of the vehicle so I can definitely see it that actually makes me feel more confident when I can see the boat is back there because when you can't see it I started getting paranoid that it wasn't there that it had come off but I need to get a chain I need to get a safety chain I think legally I'm meant to have one but um, it hasn't come with one but I will get a safety chain Forty Milton Keynes, Oxford. Yes. Forty Milton Keynes in Oxford. Yeah. So. Well, this does this doesn't make me feel um, insignificant when I'm driving down the road because my other one was just like a little diddy thing. Yeah. And and you know you can see people looking at you like, yeah, that looks a bit crap. This one they'll be like, whoa. <laughs> this is the real deal. 
Yep. And, I, and I've got to be honest, I have wanted to have something that was quite big that could handle waves much better. Um, and I wanted something where you'd have a steering wheel and, and remote column for, for throttle because um, it's all well and good having a tiller at the back, um, but it's, it's not as easy to, to steer as with a wheel, you know. Steering with a wheel, it's a very natural kind of uh, thing to, to do. And having to switch it in and out of gear as well, you know. Um, have to like throttle down, switch the gear, throttle back up, all that sort of stuff. It's easier done on just a one control, so you just push the one control. And I'm looking forward to that, to be honest. All I've got to do is now find a good enough engine with the remote controls. Uh, what time of day is it? It's 10.35, uh, whoever said that. Because I couldn't read the name. It's pretty small uh, writing on my screen. Um, so yeah, 94 people in the channel. Thank you very much for tuning back in. Yay. So what have we got? Um, what size motor am I going to get? Well, I'm thinking it's going to need to be a 40. But, but they're pretty big. They're pretty big. So getting that on, on here is going to be a two-man job. It's not going to be an easy thing to achieve because uh, that weighs quite a bit. So we shall have to see. So uh, yeah, what are we doing? So what are people saying? Where am I heading to now? Uh, it's 2 a.m. in the morning, says Benny Bugs. Dave, um, where am I heading? I'm heading back home. And before I get on any massive roads, I'm going to just multiple, triple, quadruple check that this thing is okay. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a lot more substantial. There's a lot more um, material in this boat. There's a lot more material, so there's a lot more uh, weight. And the aluminium the aluminium, aluminium flat boards as well, they're, they're uh, probably a little bit more substantial. So, there's a lot of weight behind me. But it's, you know, it's not as heavy as a caravan, I've, tra I've trailered, um, so it's, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to keep well within the speed limit on this journey, for sure. And I'm going to stop multiple times and just check the safety and make sure that it hasn't um, moved. So you'll see me just pull up and stop very quickly and get back. You think it's tight, then it moves. And then it's so you have to keep checking because if this beast comes off on it'll do it'll do a lot of damage. To itself and possibly other people and it's going to be a, a if it comes off so i'm imagining dory will because it's not like like the other one would yeah this is this is going to be for uh big jobs this is going to be for big explorers this one um, this is going to be something that i'm going to use to go and explore some things that a lot of people have not managed to get to or wouldn't dare try on their own or they'd have to charter a boat to go and get to, and I'm going to go there without needing to charter a boat, so that's going to be quite cool. The only thing is, because of size, we may need to um, keep somebody on board the boat to uh, manage it whilst it's uh, moored up in some places, because uh, some of the places I'm thinking of might require somebody to stay with the boat and then we'll have to switch so you know one one person go in and explore somebody stay with the boat and then we switch it so that I come back to the boat then they can go in and explore one of those really because um, the nature of it whether or not the releases might have jagged bits I don't know so we'll, we'll have to see but yeah so we've got 99 people so and I just hope nobody does anything stupid. Last time I towed a very large vehicle, a bloody a bloody um, coroner's vehicle with a dead body in the back shot out in front of me and I had to slam the brakes on and the vehicle behind me flipped around and 
and basically, you know, ripped the back bumper on my on my car. So I just hope today we don't have any dickheads who decide that they're going to pull out in front of me so I have to slam my brakes on. Because it's happened to me a few times. It happened to me in a motorhome. I had to slam the brakes on and it was just crazy. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy when you have to slam the brakes on a little large vehicle, what happens. And, you know, towing this thing behind me, I don't want it to, you know, lurch. Which is, uh, yeah, but... ...of uh, when people are towing things, you know, being sent all with them. But anyway, so... Uh, what does it say? What is it? Four stroke is much quieter. Yep, this four stroke. I'm not. I'm not adverse to the idea of two stroke. Um, it may come down to price and features. That is electric start. Is it manual start? Manual start would be lighter probably than electric start. I'd like to have a backup manual start on it, even if it's electric. So I'd like to have a tiller as well as it being remoted. I'd like to have electric start and manual start, but I'm not really worried about two-stroke or four-stroke. That is what it is, really. But I think a lot of the, a lot of them are four-stroke when they get to those sort of sizes. Um, I believe there's slight issues with four-stroke because they have oil in them. Um, you, you're not meant to store them on their sides, and because uh, the oil can go in places it wasn't meant to, but. That might be a good reason to get a two-stroke because, but it's in as new condition. It's very good condition. There's no scrapes on the side of it at all. It's like as new condition. Um, this guy's had it for three years, so don't know how long it was before that. I'll have to have a look on the uh, the plate on the back, and see what's on there. So. Uh, 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 okay, yes, yes, curbs. So, um, yeah, four stroke is much quieter. Yeah, I know it might be much quieter and it'll probably have a little bit more grunt as well, but, um, you know, four cylinders equals four times the weight of piston. So I think. I'm not sure, but I think. Um, so, uh, not entirely sure where I'm going, but I think I'm going the right way. Let me just check something a second. Let me just check something. Let me just check. Right, sorry about that. I just had to check my map. So, um, I'm going to have to get a Jolly Roger and a Pirate Flank for, and a Tricon hat for me. Yeah, no worries. Well, did you see my video of me uh, doing... Uh, doing my impression of Jack Sparrow, where I got my beard on, my curly hair. That was quite good. Um, so I looked like a bit of a Jack Sparrow then, but um, fit two smaller engines. Now that's a good point actually, because um, you can fit two smaller engines, and if one goes out, you've got a spare. That's a very good point, actually. Yes, if one dies, you've got another one you can use. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. Might be something to think about, but uh, of course, if you fit two smaller engines, they may not be, unless they're exactly the same type, you may have different thrusts, so you're going to end up, you know, pushing one side of the boat more than the other. You know, so you're going to have to trim out. You'll have to have two remote, two remote columns. Um, and yeah, otherwise you'll start... Um, start ruddering round on yourself. So he's definitely back there. Now where are we? Milton Keynes, North one. Alright, I'm gonna cross over onto the A43 in a minute. So uh, yeah my neighbours not gonna be happy with me. Hmm we'll have to see what we can do. Clear some space out to get this in. Right, so that's Northampton Milton Keynes, it's Oxford. So, A43 South. 
again. Right, we've got 112. Oh, somebody's donated some money. Let's have a quick gander at that. Oh, Sam and Jess, get myself a Ginster's pasty. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah, did you know in my last live stream, Sam and Jess, that um, people donated 40 quid um, in the last live stream I did, just, just a few minutes earlier, well, about 15, 20 minutes earlier. Um, so, yeah, it's all, it's all happening. It's all happening. I shall be a rich man, if I were a rich man. Oh, here we go. Look, now they, they're trying to outdo each other now. It's becoming a bidding war. So me two quid from hello Oxford M40. Ah, oh, right, yeah, yeah. I'm in the right place. And and I haven't got a lot good to go. So I've got, I've got two trailers now. <laughs> two trailers, two boats. Madness. 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 I'm hope, I'm hoping. That I'm not going to end up having to sell this boat because my neighbour's literally having an Uchima flip over over the size of this thing. I'm going to have to try and smooth this out with them. I'm going to have to try and be very diplomatic and really smooth this out. Because I think they'll, you know, when you see something initially, your brain sort of goes, Neh! and then after a while, you kind of just blank it out and you forget it's there. But I think when they see this, they're initially going to go, Neh! <laughs> yeah. Sure. For sure. For sure it will. For sure they'll freak out. You know it to be the truth. <laughs> yeah. Right, do I come off here? Uh, in that yonder McDonald's to check the safety of this vehicle. Yes, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna come off and I'm just gonna check that it's secured because the next bit is the M40 where it's going to get a bit real so I'm just going to do one last check just to convince myself that it's all happening correctly I don't want any accidents it's got two large ratchet straps on it but I think I'm going to get some more so uh Love the last explore, mate. Legend. Thank you. Uh, remember to smash the like button, somebody said. Yes, yeah, smash that like button. You know it makes sense. Smash it. Right, so I'm going to get in this something or another in a second, which is like a garage. And I'm going to check. I've got to make sure now I don't hit, oh, I nearly did, nearly hit the... Um, trailer on the edge of the road because the distance is so wide now. Anyway, right. I'll have to give you in a second. Just gonna check this stuff out. Right, back again. Let's have a look at some of these messages then. I'll scroll back to the beginning. Because trust me, I'm in no rush to get back home. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. And I'll read all your messages. So I've got £4.90. Thank you very much. Um, Sam and Jess are sound. At exploring with fighters are melts. <laughs> right, okay, fair enough. Um, Angel TV says rural sound system. Tiger Diesel says good girl angel. HMS Beast. Yeah, that's right. Paddles. Oh, yeah. Does it have the paddles in there? I think I, I did see them. It does. But they don't have a connecting rod on the body, so you just have to use them like kayak, like uh, one-handed kayak paddles. They're not, they, they are there, I have seen them, yeah. Um, trouble with paddles is you've got to make sure they don't fly off. Hang on a sec. Just have a quick look.
break. I, 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 I always work on the principle that if it, if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. So I've now brought the paddles in, and I'm now split them in half because they're actually inside the boat. They're inside the boat, but they can they can flap and they can dis disconnect. And if they disconnect, they'll be bouncing, and then they'll bounce out. And then I'll have to buy more paddles. So I brought them in. Hang on, the dog is reminding me. That noise is the dog splatting her water bowl and wa water bottle. She wants water. Want some water? Need some water? Need some water? Need some water? Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Ugh. She lets me know. <laughs> when the water bowl runs out, she goes like this, and she smacks it around the back of the car, like, something's wrong with this water bowl, it's broken, this bowl is broken, and then she just make, kicks up a fuss until we go make it for her. Now, luckily, I can turn this around here in one go, I hope. So, let's just turn the boat around in one go. There we go. Right. So, I think we're good. But I have to give wide berth now to this when I'm going because and it's got a lovely rib on it, this boat. It's got a really strong rib. I mean, it's, it is inflatable, but it's, it's pokey. It sticks out really well, the rib on it. So, um, yeah. Right, what's going on then? I've got give way. There's no lights here. I just don't have lights on this section. So yeah, the rib is quite pronounced, so it'll probably steer quite well. Um, and it's so much deeper as well, you know, the, the area where you sit in is much, you know, it's raised up quite a lot for, compared to the other one. So, you know, the, the tubes on the other one are probably about this round, and these ones are like this round. They, they're, they're a lot bigger. There's a big difference. It's a lot higher sitting up a lot higher um, and this it's got proper seats well it's got uh, it's got two sets of seats and then you can sit on the rubber as well so yeah it's got a lot going for it yeah sure ching ching right She's happy now, she's got some water. So, uh, I did say I was going to read through all the, the comments, but I didn't get it, didn't manage to do it. Um, overtake a cyclist, or power. I'm at full hog mode on the arc. Okay. Right, I might have to just skip some of these. Um, what can go wrong? Uh, what can go wrong will go wrong. Always strikes at the most inopportune moment, yes. Royal, same as Rib SBS and Royal Marines use. Yeah, it's a Vanguard 535 if you want to have a look. Vanguard 535 by Excel. And they are a very popular one and I've spoke to people who are into boats and they say, if you want to get one, this is one of the best. So, I'm not messing around. This is one of the best. It's not. It's not over-engineered, but it's one of the better ones. It's not a cheapy. Um, we're doing it in 55. Sure, what have we got then? Um, what next? Scuba gear? Well, hang on, somebody said, what's that? It's WPC Wendy and PC Plod at the door. Dr. Respect. Oh, God. Yeah, they'd probably come around my house and say, we've had a complaint, you've got a large boat. Yeah, your neighbours have complained, so we the police have come around your house to, com to complain and, and threaten you. Because you've got a large boat, Mr Williams. And it's like, yeah. So, um, I'm not too sure actually whether or not this is now classed as big enough to it needs to be registered. I don't think they do if they're their ribs or sips. Well, certainly not sips. This is a sip. Maybe you've got to register ribs. I don't know. Um, but if I 
it's bouncing around. Even though we're on like a flat, easy going road, it's certainly bouncing about quite a bit back there. It's because this road is crap, I expect. Right, what have we got going on then? So, live chat. Oh, Dr. Respect from Triorki. You're from Triorki. You, you phoned from my house. What? What are you on about? I phoned from your house. We have complaints that you broke into an old distillery with a massive boat on your back. Really? Okay. Chilling like a villain. That rings a bell. I know that name. Why do I know Chilling Like a Villain name? I know that name. Um, we're, we're shooting off. Safe travels home. Thank you very much. I'll try my best. So, I've got 5.7 miles until the next turning. Trouble is, I haven't got any voice on my Google, so I'm going to miss stuff if I'm not careful, but oh well. And you're all, I bet you're all waiting for me to go like, Oh no! No, it's fallen off the back! I bet you're all waiting for that, aren't you? You just want to, like, wait for that exciting moment when the boat falls off the back. Yeah. This has cost me... How much do you think this has cost me, this boat? Have a guess, right? Let's, um, let's see if you can... Uh, how much, oh, actually, somebody just said, how much did your new boat send you back, man? That's weird, isn't it? Because I literally, I just said that, and then I looked across, and somebody asked the que exact question that was on my mind. So, that, how much am I going to cry when it falls off the back and turns into a pile of skid rubber on the road? Yeah. Ah. S Scoot says 1,500. S Haunted Coachman says 2,000. 700. Doctor, res respect you well away. Uh, that's not, yeah, it's not very close, but um, a grand. No, a bit more than a grand. Right, 3.5k, no, that's too much. Half a crown. Yeah. <laughs> Tuppence. Tuppence for you, sir. Um, right. Right, yeah, flat home and steep home, you got it. You know You know the way my mind is working. My mind is thinking, you see? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. 1,450. Yes. You're exactly right. That's how much it cost. So, yeah, there you go, 1450, and that's just the boat, right? Now I've got to go find an engine, okay? And I've had to uh, do a lot of um, selling bits and pieces that I own and getting rid of stuff to be able to afford this. So, um, yeah, basically, uh, I've got to take care of this. I've got to take care of this, otherwise I'll be throwing away a lot of money. So, um, but yeah, it looks uh, it's in pretty good nick. Um, oh, what's that? We seen your boat. He's the guy who just sold it to you, mate. No. <laughs> yeah, right. I bet. Can I buy the doggo? No, no, no. She's priceless. And you, you're a priceless baby. You're a good girl. You're a good girl back there. You've been a good girl. Good kiss. Good kisses. Good kisses. No kisses for me. No kisses. Did you give kisses? Give kisses. Oh, go on. Oh, 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 oh. Kiss. Good kiss. Hey, John. Yeah, it's a good girl. It's a good girl. It's a good girl. Oh, yeah, she's the best in the world. Best girl, yes, you was the best girl. You was the best girl, yes, you are. Yes, yes, you good girl. Wife is crated up. She's a beautiful dog. Denied, but yeah. Um, and that's going to be the first part of the Bristol Royal Infirmary. Okay, so the next one is going to be coming up. Okay, and I'm going to do it in sections. But I want to introduce you to this place that we've been trying to get into for a long time, okay? And I want you to do it in the correct order. So there is the ghost video, but I didn't want to just put the ghost video out when you don't understand the building and what it's about. Okay, so the first time we go there, I go there with um, Kurt, and we, we were just amazed. We managed to get in. So I was like, wow, I've managed to do this, this thing. We've managed to get in. This is crazy. So then it was a case of 
we, we're, we were in there and we, we thought there was possible ghostly happenings in the morgue because it was quite cold down there, but you'll see that in the, in the video. Um, so then I called in Carl from Dark Arts Paranormal who came down and we just had some crazy shit that went on in that building. So um, when a few of us, we, I shared the unedited video with a few people um, and on the basis of that, even more people came down. So all I'm going to say is, right, there's a number of videos here, okay, it's not just going to be the one video, it's going to be one introductory video, then we go back with more people. Anything, anything really crazy to happen, we were taking it with a, we were, we were having a bit of a laugh, basically. Uh, we got caught out because stuff started happening that was just like off the end of the scale. And um, Mark says, I've gone. Uh, hopefully I'm back now. Tell me if you've got me back. So, um, Carl from Dark Arts TV, yeah, that's the one. So, uh, we went there and, yeah, just crazy, crazy stuff was happening. And it was amazing. Um, so, we, we caught as much of it on film as we could. We kind of caught the... the we were filming around the event, but um, didn't quite see the thing when it happened, but you see, you see, let's put it like this, you see enough to realise that, you know, it's quite a, quite a crazy thing, so I'm just coming on to the uh, slip road for the M40, whoa, sorry folks, uh, it, it just disconnected for a while there then, and um, hopefully you've got, got it back now, yeah, sorry, I mean, I don't know what the signal is like here, because it's not showing me... Let me just see if I can kind of... Oh, yeah. Uh, what, what kind of signal am I getting? Hello. Oh, it's getting a H signal. So it's not a 4G, it's a H. But H is good. H plus is good. But um, they're obviously on old equipment here to be on H. I haven't seen that for a while. Um, yeah. I mean... All this 5G, you know, it's like, oh yeah, you can have super, super speed, but like on a really short distance, which is shit. I'd rather have, I'd rather have a lot more deployment of 4G rather than, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of 5G. That seems to make more sense to me. It means less money in infrastructure, just more repeaters, you know, more, more of those, which will go longer distance. I mean, all this 5G stuff is like... <laughs> You know, it's nice if you're standing next to the transmitter, but if you're not standing next to the transmitter, it's not going to do you much good, is it? So, anyway, um, millions of 5G, yeah. Well, it might all be a moot point because pretty soon Elon Musk is going to have tens of thousands of these saddle phone companies are going to have um, competition there because people will be connecting with even faster speed up to, up to satellites. And... Uh, yeah, well, that it can be anywhere. Then in the sticks in the middle of nowhere, and still get a good signal. So we sh we shall have to see there. That's going to be an interesting one. But you'll probably have to change your phones to be not just four or five G, but also satellite compatible as well. Um, and the A forty three at the moment, which is um, on the way back to Oxford. Um, where am I at the moment? It's, what are they saying? Ardley. A R D L E Y. Ardley, I think. I haven't reached Ardley yet, but I'm on the way. So, uh, yeah. It's the area not speed driving affects signal. Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm definitely not speed driving. I'm doing like 50 miles an hour max at the moment because of this boat on the back. Just taking it easy. I want to make sure I get over in one piece. Ooh. It's a massive trans transom on the back of this. That's the bit that you stick the engine on. It's, it's huge and it's thick. And I don't think it's made out of um, wood like the last one. I think this might be some sort of metal, but uh, it definitely looks a little stronger. It would need to be for a, a 
to a 40 horsepower. That's the recommended limit for it. So. So yeah, we're on a, a homeward drag now, hopefully. So just have to be careful um, when we get into my pitch because it's pretty narrow and it's going to be a beast to get down into my back garden. That's going to be a beast. I may require somebody to give me a hand with that because that's going to be quite hard. And I think that it's probably going to be really hard for me to reverse it up into my uh, driveway as well. So um, I may have to get it off the hook and get it, um, uh, get somebody to give me a hand to get it in there. At which point then my neighbours are going to be well aware of what's going on and we'll be going, oh my god, probably. But anyway, I've got the space for it, it's just, uh, hello, I've got the space to keep it there, but it's just a case of, you know, are they going to find it unsightly? Who knows? Who knows? Well, at least one thing is good about this, it has got, because it's a new boat and it's a company that's still in existence, you can get parts for it. So that'll be good to get uh, to get bits and pieces for it. I think it's probably over pumped at the moment because the sun is out and uh, probably needs to lose a little bit of air. But I'm going to leave it inflated, over inflated, whilst I drive it home. I'll let the air out of it when I get home. But it's definitely uh, requiring less pressure. Right. So let's have a look. Um, yeah, tarpaulin. It comes with a cover. It's actually got a cover with it. Um, sales of porn, porn have increased, yes, during the shutdown, I bet they have. Reconnecting again, reconnecting again, it said. Um, must have some, well, they're not nosy neighbours really, um, but I've got a police woman lives next door to me. So I'm just driving past RAF Croton, the NSA listening station, if you, uh, if you know it, it's over there. It's got the big balls, it's like uh, Menwith Hill. So RF Croton, I'm actually driving past that as we speak now, if you know where I am. It's, uh, yeah, you can't really see it from the side of the road, but um, yeah. Um, I need to get some air in here a second. It's getting hot again. Might be a good thing really, it might slow me down with my driving, having this on the back because I just literally won't be able to drive at crazy speeds like I normally do. Because with this on the back I have to, you know, I have to sit my down a bit. Which, which will actually make my driving quite fuel efficient, which it normally isn't. So, uh, oh, I went over a bit of a bump then. I bounced it around, it's been rotten. Oh, the life. These roads. Pothole. Oh, John. Pothole Central. D43. So, have I parked it yet? No. Did I get the new so I got the zoom, and I'm very happy with it because being able to zoom into things from a distance with that zoom lens, wow. It, it hasn't got quite as good low light performance as the Mavic Pro 2. Um, and it hasn't got 10-bit colour, but it does shoot in H.265, so I'm happy with that. So yeah, it's all, it's good, it's good, it's all good. But, um, I'm not, uh, I'm not too sure whether I really need to keep the Mavic 2 Pro, but I'm thinking maybe for low lights there might be some occasions, but it is just going to be a drone that sits in the cupboard now for forever because that, that Mavic Zoom is exactly what I needed. It's really good. I never thought I would. I, th I thought like, well, I'll go for the pro quality of the, you know, the pro. But that bloody pro has got a bend in the image. You know, it bends and you've got a, you've got a, it's Hasselblad, all right. It's bloody hassle. 
it's hassle with taking out the bend every time you want to bloody dip with the damn thing. So, you know, it's got some definite neg negatives. That's, and the zoom, really, because it doesn't have the bent image away from an object, and zoom in so you don't piss people off by flying too close to them, you see? So, definite advantage. You know, you keep well away from people. It means they can't, you know, you, you, they're not going to be, you're not going to be so close that they can throw a stone at you, you know, or something like that. It, it's definite advantage to keeping yourself away but still being able to get the shot, you know? So, um, anyway, what are people saying then? Email me, somebody says. Well, I don't know, who, me? Uh, no, somebody's, they're talking to each other in channel. I'm sorry if I can't really look at the screen, folks, because I'm, you know, I've always got a lot I'm concentrating with here. So, um, I'll try if I can. Um, I have the Mavic Pro. Well, yeah, I've got a Mavic Pro 2, the Mavic 2 Pro or whatever which has 10-bit colour and is a much better image quality than the, um, the Mavic Pro because the Mavic Pro was quite grainy. It was quite a grainy image. Um, you can clean it up in post-production by using noise cleaning software, but I mean, it was like, meh. And, and of course, the noise cleaning on the Mavic Pro on, but then it does a really poor job of cleaning it and it just smudges out so trees become just smudges grass becomes one big smudge you know so you have to turn that off and then it's all grainy but it's it's clear grainy and you can clean that with noise cleaning software but it's just a balling um, the Mavic 2 Pro is just a very clean image to start with and the, the zoom is pretty good as well but it uh, but not so good in low light you start to get a bit of grain coming back in low light then but again, all cleanable, you know, very cleanable later on. So, uh, but I think right now, if I had to recommend one to somebody, it would be the Mavic 2 Zoom, having owned the Pro, the, the, the 2 Pro, I would really go for the Zoom. It's less to think about, you know, less to think about in terms of how I mess around with the image afterwards. So, um, okay, so what you're saying. Merlin says, He's got the Mavic Mini. Uh, Keith Key says he's got the... Yeah, an RAF base in Cambridge would be worth doing before it gets demolished. Okay. You'll have to tell us which one that is. So, yeah. Uh, Sparks Core says he really wants the Zoom. Yeah, it, you, I picked mine up for £800. Refurbished. And it came... It's basically from DJI. It's immaculate. Like, it's never been touched. Brand new quality. You know, got, it's just people who return and save yourself a lot of money um, on a, you know, immaculate drone. And, uh, okay, yes, I'm not going to be able to register it to get the, um, the care, you know, the, uh, the care package, you know, so if I smash it in. But I'm saving a lot of money, you know, so I'm saving uh, 300 quid, you know, on the, the new price for a new drone. But yeah, I won't be able to put the uh, DJI Refresh, it's called, on it. So, yeah, what else we got then? Anybody say anything? RAF Upwood is the one in Cambridgeshire. Thanks for that. Okay, I'll have to check that out then. I will have to check it out. So, if we can get, the, um, get this car cool down, because it's, um, it's really hot and I don't want to have to open the window. So it managed to do 60 now on the M40, so that's pretty good. But remember to turn off, because I'm chatting away. I could forget to take a turning. I'm blabbing, talky talk. say I'm going to necessarily do this, but this boat actually can fold away. Um, you can take the aluminium struts out and you can actually fold this boat down so that it will, you know, you can take it in the house. You just put it away in the house. Um, even though it's quite a big, it's a big old beast when it's fully out. It will pack away. So you don't have to necessarily keep it outdoors, and you could put the 
put it in the back of a car, transport where you want to go, and then just inflate it at the other end, so you don't have to have the whole, uh, you don't have to have the thing ready rigged on the back of a trailer like I've got. Um, you can actually do it when you get down to the beach, and then just get a few people to lift it into. The, it's on the big end of the scale, you know. This one, it is kind of a biggie, so I think you're probably pushing what you could feasibly manage to get in the water. So yeah, the next turning I'm going to take, so I'll stay in this lane then. Yeah, I'm driving at lorry speeds now. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be fun. So it's going to be very fun. going to be able to reverse this out my lane. So I may have to take it off the back and manually manhandle it. So this is going to get very interesting. message about RAF and wood. Okay, thank you. Fill it with helium. Yeah, it'll be a bit lighter. It'll definitely be a bit lighter, but it'll be quite expensive to fill with helium. Do, do, do. Chris Bland, hi. Hello, Chris Bland. So 155 people with me and Angel. Mr. A41, the middle lane, the A34. So. so, what we got going on here? It's a three laner. I think it is actually. It's three laners. Yeah. So. So, wow. Uh, we shall have some fun on this one. On this boat. Just hope I don't have to go and stick it somewhere or find somewhere to, um, to house it. Hoping I can just house it around the side so I don't have to start paying bloody rent to stick it somewhere. That would be a pain in the bum. <sighs> What's that? Instagram. No name. Wants to send you a message. Okay. Put chip. Put ink. Can't Angel pull it like a Figaro? I don't know what that means, but uh, yeah. It's quite warm again. It seems to have. Uh, seems to be towing quite well. So that's something. said it looks like the this boat will be able to do the seven bore. Um, you could be right there, uh, but I'm not sure quite how many people do that, because I've seen people filming it with like drones and helicopters and things like that, but I think, I think I've seen canoes that, that can handle bore when it comes up. And if anybody doesn't know what the seven bore is, by the way, seven bore is a tidal current 
that what happens is when the when the river Severn is coming out, it sort of flows out towards the sea. You know, all the big rivers come down, and then you it joins the sea. And then what happens is the at a certain time of the year, there's the sea comes in quicker than the the, the the water coming out. So you actually get a tidal current comes up over the top of the outflowing water, and um, it goes upstream. So whereas normally the River Severn would it flows out out and then it comes up and down with the tide, but it tends to it's constantly flowing slowly outwards. It, it basically this tidal thing comes ripping up. It's like you know the, the increasing tide comes up. So yeah, I think I got that right, but probably not. Anyway, what it looks like is a big Christ. You obviously expect to see little little waves and the occasional rising lowering waves, but this is like a big tidal wave, you know, that comes up. And uh, they call it the seven bore. And they can predict when it's going to happen. So people hang out on the uh, on the sides of the, the river to watch it. And uh, as it goes upstream, because because it's getting narrower as it goes upstream, it gets more severe. So that it gets taller and taller. And when it gets near the top, I think it's quite it's quite big. I might tell me if I'm right or wrong. But some people try to surf it. They try to surf the seven bore. Um, because it's quite big, but I don't know whether how successful they are. Tell me in the chat or wrong on that. Um, tell me if if I got that wrong. Yeah, we're doing 55 now. Um, probably need to get some fuel because I haven't filled up in quite a while. So I'd like to fill up somewhere that isn't one pound thirty nine. A litre, like one of the garages I just went to earlier on. One pound thirty-nine a litre. Are you having a laugh? What? Thirty-five pence a litre more than you can get in the in the local supermarkets. Thirty-five pence a litre. Oh, I know. So that's um. So uh, in a hundred litre for a fill up of your tank, you're going to pay thirty pounds more to fill up in one of these service stations. Are you having a laugh? I think you'd be better off find, driving somewhere else and finding somewhere else, wouldn't you, for 30 quid more? Just splashing out, throwing 30 quid away. These garages, and it was, it was empty. It had like 25 pumps, and the whole place was empty. And I wonder why that is. Yeah. And I said to the girl behind the, the thing as well, you know, sort of, she, she probably hates people like me, but I said, uh, yeah, not many cars in here, are they? With prices like that. And as I left, you know, not buying any fuel, just came in for coffee. There you go. She's probably quite happy with that because it means no work for her. But, I mean, it's a bit of an embarrassment when you've got, like, 25 pumps and the whole place is empty and the price is £1.39 a litre. Yeah. Just a little bit excessive. Yeah. So, um, won't be filling up in there. Or if I did, it would be £3. £3. Here's your £3 so I can get to another garage. I'd fill up for cheap. They just don't get it, do they? They're like, some of these garages, they're like a dough. They just think, let's charge them loads of money. And, well, if we get less sales and everyone pirates it, sod it. Ha, 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 ha. Because at least we charge them more money instead of thinking, let's charge them next to nothing and we'll just have everyone in the planet will pay for it because it'll be cheap. So everyone will have it, which means overall we'll have made more money. Nope. No, 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 no. We'll sell to an exclusive audience. We'll charge more money, but we'll have less sales. So we'll make less. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Which which economy is better, do you think? Which one has a happier planet of people using your products? So I don't know. I'm not getting any new comments. Whoops. Swerving across the road there. Oxford, so the turning, I think it's junction turning 20 or something, I think I've got to take. And I might take it because I'm running a bit low on fuel. So I may take one of these to get some cheap fuel. But not this one. I'll take the next one. Which I think is junction 20, is it, of the A34? I could be wrong on that. So services down there, so that'll probably be quite expensive. Oh, it says I'm live again, so I'm breaking. I'm
popping on and going off a lot. So, what's going on then with this? Live chat. Right. Oh! What was it doing then? It was only showing me the top chats. Right, okay. So, immersion. Can't go further than five kilometres. Love. Um, so, when I'm driving places, it's my business. And it's none of their fucking business. Yeah. Um, I've got friends in the USA. They're 25 cents a litre. It's disgusting, isn't it? I mean, bloody... It's, a, it's crazy, but I mean, we pay 75% of the fuel cost is tax. 7A at the pump is tax. It's crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. And we think we got it bad. I see the prices in, in the EU for fuel. Woo! Oh, yeah. We got it okay in the UK. And that's probably getting out to the bloody EU. Our prices will be cheaper for fuel and a lot of other things. But, um, oh, yeah. It's it's a lot more in, in the EU. Yeah. Yeah. So I did say I might go and drive past Mr. Kerbs' house and show him the... Uh, show him the beast but if I do that I was gonna have to make contact with him which I don't know if I can do whilst I'm doing a YouTube stream so that might not be easy to do and I don't want to drive through Swindon if there's no point because he's not there so how am I gonna do this then <laughs> so I need a second phone or I need to split the screen. There's a split screen mode. I wonder if I can do that. Split the screen. Split the screen. Uh, no. No. So hang on. Can I split the screen if I do this? No. No. Right. Okay. Yeah. I can do a split screen, but. I know where I am now, so I'm into this bloody Google Maps crap. Right, so I'm still live. I'm on a split screen now, so I've never really used this mode before, so this is going to be fun. It does work, so I can make a call on the other screen. That's very interesting. That probably would have been useful for me using the maps as well, because I could get the map earlier on, because I, I, I had to be window in window maps rather than split screen maps. And if I tried to bring it up full screen, it was disconnecting the, the live stream. So now I can have the best of both worlds. Oh, I thought there was a garage down here. Sugar, there ain't no garage. Oh. Nope, no garage. Damn it. Uh, over here. Oh, no garage. So I made a boo-boo there. Just made a boo-boo. So now I've got to find a way to turn around. Whilst I have a big beast boat. Fun. So I've really made a pig's ear of this one. I wonder if I can just turn it round by here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. U-turn. I did a U-turn into a bus lane. Down, 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 down. But it's okay because they can't see my number plate because I've got a boat behind me. Down, 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 down. So we ain't going to get any crap off that one. But yeah, I've, um, I'll have to go to a different garage then. I thought there was one just off where I was coming off here, but I must be, must be mistaken. Uh, okay, well we might have to end up using slightly more expensive garages than I wanted to on the way back. We shall see. Oh no, I disconnected myself. 
I'll, I'll do the split screen thing when I'm in a, um, a garage because it looks like it's a bit more involved than I thought. It was definitely more involved than I thought. So we're going to head off down the 420. So if anybody's from Oxford and they know their way to Swindon, down the 420. Um, and that's because I'd like to get some cheap fuel in Swindon. This is a hell of a lot cheaper than where I am. Where I live. So. Uh, this is Hey Matty, Black Dog says. Hello. How old, how old is Angel? She's... Eight, eight and something. Um, eight and a bit, something like that. I think. I like that road. It's also illegal. What is legal? What's illegal? Nick said, "Beautiful dog." Thank you, Nick. Thank you very much. Yeah, she is. She is a stunner, aren't you? Stun the bums. You stun bums. You literally stun people everywhere you go. Let's see, we can see, see if she wants a treat then. Do you want a treat, Dee? A treat? Yeah, she's happy. She's a happy girl. She's a happy girl. She's a happy girl. Yeah, she's a good girl in the back of the car. You are. You're a big old cat. Big old little, big old little thing, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're a big old little thing. Yes, you are. Greetings from Finland. Juicy, I said, Juicy said, Juicy. Ah, I can't, it's gone. Polarasi. Polasari. Polasari. Juicy Polasari. I think that's how you spell it. Seven Bridge. Um, shut up, moaning about the dog, it's happy. Yeah, dog's happy. She just, um, it's, it's, it's a Oh, sorry. Yeah, they say that you're better off put them in a cage with a bit of a blanket over it because it's too much stimulation because they their prey got a high prey drive and everything that's moving is excitement and there is like so much going on that it's just over excitement. So I think this is why the dog doesn't like coming in the car is because A it's hot and B she can't get to sleep because she's overexcited and it's just like a brain drain for her and um, she's just not calm. You know, it, it's a, it's like a calmness thing. What they, what the dog is seeking out is just calm. So, yeah. So I'll probably be able to get to Swindon. I've got like I'm just getting on the red on the needle, but um, I know it'll make make it to Swindon. So I've got a jerry can in the back if I need it, um, but I think we'll be okay because I'm just cruising very gently at 55, which means my fuel economy is amazing right now. If only I could bring myself to drive this slow, normally I could probably do a lot more explores. Angel's a gorgeous dog says that wanted coach me. She certainly is. Um, nothing at all, whatever. So I can only read the, what's popping up on the screen. I can't really scroll back through anything at the moment. Stocks BP fuel on the left soon, yes, but they've always been a bloody rip off that BP station. I know the one you mean, yeah. I mean, I've always looked at it and gone, fuck my cloth. <coughs> I've always done that, you know. I need a doggy belt, yeah. Can you imagine this dog sitting with a doggy belt? She'd actually twist herself up and, and end up nearly choking herself, and then I'd have to stop the car in order to stop my dog choking. It, it, this is not a dog that does well with things like that. Um, this is a dog that pulls you off your feet and it's just a practical thing. You know, it's like I'd have to keep stopping and keep stopping and keep stopping. Or the alternative would be to put her in a cage, you know, which is going to be a pain in the ass because I'd have to take half the seats out of the bloody car in order to get a cage in here for her. So, 
you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. But um, anyway, there's far too much fucking nimby bollocks. Probably day in the car, you know. I see some people who put the dogs in the boot, you know, with a bloody thing on there, and the dog can't even turn round. You know, and that's just like shit. So, what do you do? You get yourself a people mover and then you remove all the seats and you put a cage in the back, but then you can't get any of your friends in the back. And remember that I, I do travel with friends, so we have to be practical about this. And it's all well and good for the government to say, do this, do that, do this, like, not, not cause, you know. So when the government tells me that I've got to have like a safety belt on in the back because it's safer, um, why doesn't the government fucking start stop selling weapons to Saudi Arabia? Yeah. So when they start doing that and stop doing those things, then I'll start worrying about safety belts in the back of my car for my dog. I'd rather have a fine, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. I'd rather get a fine because I can't. I'm not going to keep doing. I'm not going to do it. Somebody's just sent me two pounds in the future. I've never met them. I've never met the Hell on, Le uh, Hell on Earth fan. Um, I know the guy, is the guy's name Johnny? Johnny something? Um, remind me uh, what his name is, but they're, they, they, they're, I suppose we've got similar sort of sense of humour. They're a little bit more abrasive with their sense of humour than I am, because uh, it's all about taking the piss out of each other, that sort of, sort of thing. But I, it's kind of sometimes, I think, the, the, where, where they are and what they're exploring seems to come second to the sense of humour. It's almost like as if it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a comedy channel with, with sense of humour as the backdrop, you know? And like, it's a comedy... Uh, no, it's a comedy channel with the explore is the backdrop. It's like a pastiche of the... The Explorer is secondary to the comedy, you know, and um, I haven't watched too many of their videos, I've actually watched too many, um, but it, I think if you like their sense of humour, then that's that's probably why they've got quite a lot of people, is because people resonate, oh, I'm lying, um, it's not to say I, I haven't enjoyed their videos, but if that sort of, that type of video, it's not one of the ones that's high almost. Um, you know, I'm a kind of Steve Ronin, um, like, I like the photography, I like the sort of, like, to see people, like, put lots in the photography, and Steve's the best at it, I can't, you know, um, if I tried really hard, I could probably emulate the style, you know, um, but I don't, I still don't think I would do it quite as effortlessly as he does it, um, but I like his style, I really like Steve's style, and I quite like, um, Explore with fighters, but um, I did prefer Dan's material when he had it steady cam. Got a bit of that. Uh, it's great company sometimes, wobbly cam, but you know he's a good editor and he, he keeps it concise. You know, he keeps it interesting by the way he edits. So you know, I kind of, I can still, I, it still flies for me. You know, the Dan stuff. But when he had the steady cam, I was like, wow, I like this a lot. You know, I really like that. So, the steadier the camera, the happier this Teddy is. So, um, let's have a look what people are saying about uh, what are people saying. Um, they've got cool videos, but you can't take any of it serious. Yeah, um, but I think you know they that's the that's they totally intend that. You know, um, when am I going to buy do merchandise? Oh, I don't know. You know, it's like. I don't know. I, I think I'd find it weird seeing people walking around with t-shirts with a channel logo on it. I'd be like, cringe. It's, it's sort of like makes me cringe a bit. Maybe I could get used to the idea of people wandering around trying to like wear the logo. But ah, uh, see, I'm not. I mean, apart from the Sea Shepherd stuff, right, which I wear for a reason, 
because I'm trying to tell people to, you know, donate some money to Sea Shepherd because that's an important charity. Um, you know, I got this kind of, I, I'm shit in life, you know, I undercharge people for things, I give stuff away, um, I'm, I'm the world's worst businessman, you know. Um, I really should try and, you know, work that out a little bit better, you know? So, yeah. But, um, so, uh, yeah, uh, if I get my head round it, I mean, other people do it. At the end of the day, I mean, if I did do something like that, you know, if I did do a t-shirt or something like that, I could tell you because um, it would be people are asking me they want they want the logo on a t-shirt so I would do it because people are wanting it the logo on a t-shirt I think the money would kind of be an irrelevance to me um, and I doubt very much that I could ever cons so you know it would be you know I'd be I'd be surprised if I could make money but you know Steve Ronin levels maybe you'd be able to sell enough of that merchandise to make it matter but I can't see that I would ever be able to sell enough of it to make it matter so um, not, not at this stage not at this stage um, but you know if people wanted to have the, the logo or sub logo I, I could look into it I could look into it but I would probably just let it manage itself like you know just set it up so people could just buy it they print the print one-offs, you know, one-off t-shirts these companies do it, so you know, they don't have to keep a stock and uh, they can send it out to people but um, one thing that I wouldn't really want to do would be to produce something that was low quality that, that would fade I'd want it to be really high quality you know, like that um, remember people saw me wear the George Bush, you know um, uh, Wanted Dead or Alive that red t-shirt, that's a high quality red t-shirt and the printing is such thick paint it's actually quite thick, it's hard to, to you know, manoeuvre that but that lasts forever, that's a 10 year old t-shirt, you know and it, it, the image is just as good today got lots of smoke blowing across the, um, hang on a minute is there a car on fire or something? something's on fire, yeah what the hell's on fire? Shit, like it's just blowing across the bloody road. Oh, they blow, they, you know, why do people burn? Why do people burn their waste? They're supposed to take why do people burn waste? They're supposed to recycle it these days, and it's blowing across the bloody road, you know, it's smoking everything out. Open the windows a minute to clear the smoke out. You know, and then they chuck plastics and bloody all sorts of shit on the fire as well. You know, it's just to me that that was somebody who lived in a big house. That's a big house. The burning shit on the side of the house. Like you got a big house, you got enough money to employ a gardener. Get the bloody gardener to take their stuff to the tip. You tight ass bastards. You're living in a million pound house. You know. Take it to the bloody tip like you're supposed to, or buy a recycling bin. Chuck it in the recycling bin. What a bunch of tossers. But yeah, anyway, don't get me started on that. So, what are we doing then? It keeps disconnecting. It's bad, bad signal here between Oxford and um, Swindon. It's a very bad signal area. So, hello glitching. Yeah, sorry, it's just the signal area. I'm sorry about that. Oh yeah, just coming up to that bloody, um, that BP garage now. I bet it's going to be expensive. I'm not going to want to go in there. £1.20. That's not too bad, actually. But you know what? I've just, I, I can't slam the brakes on to go in there. It's not too bad, £1.20. So I'm going to risk it. I'm risking it. I'm going to do the last bit on... It's getting close to the red. It's getting close to the end of the red. I'm going to risk it. I don't reward, we do not reward mediocrity, and we do not reward bastardism. 
and unfortunately these garages who are bastards and are trying to rip people off, we do not reward them. And sadly, there were loads of people in that garage. But um, it's not it's not as bad as some places. Good, good girl. She's got this like white. This is a white, a white down her nose there. That's her age, isn't it? You can see the age. Because you can't tell from the fur because the fur looks good at all times. So, but that's that's actually discoloured with age. Because you're showing your age, baby, and you've got the snores that is white. So got the snores is white, baby. Snores is white. So snores white. Took her out for a swim last night. She was really chuffed. She loves the river. Might take her out again. Might get some uh, kayaks as well. For smaller explores up rivers and things. You just get some kayaks. That might be good fun. We're talking about getting a couple of those. So, um... What's that? Well, they're building a posh, posh house, are they? It'll cost lots of money. So, what are people saying then? What are they up to saying? Sea Shepherd's still alive? Yeah, it is. Sea Shepherd's still... They've... I think they've had to... Uh, I'm just passing Barcoat Park, if anybody knows what that is. So, um, yeah, they've had to uh, diversify their funds into different countries so that they don't get their assets seized because um, certain governments are trying to be wankers to, to fuck them up. But um, Taft's Well says, you should add no fear to your logo. No, it's not going to be no fear, it's going to be no beer. No beer. Because you know what I get like when I get drunk. It gets really messy. Oh, we've got a big army... Army transporter vehicle. It's gone past us. So you can have, I suppose they have squaddies in the back of those. Uh, what else we got? You could do... You could do with a company like Teespring. Yeah. I think Ali Law... Uh, uses a thing called Big Cartel, but he does get a lot more people buying his stuff. I think there's some of these companies you've got like a setup cost and a monthly, they charge you monthly for being with them. I wouldn't want any of that crap. I don't want any charges to me at all. I want, you know, uh, but I want the highest quality print. I want, you know, durable print. Like, that's just me. Oh, I'm live again. There's 200 people watching this stream now. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hello, um, Mr. Wandering Heights in Scotland. Chilling from like a villain says you should just just don it. Sorry, I've just trademarked that one. Whoops, a daisy. What's that then? Um, use Teespring. I'll try and remember to check them out. Send me an email reminding me. Send me send me an email saying check out Teespring. If anybody wants to email me, by the way, in YouTube, if you go into the About section, um, there's two email addresses for me there. You can always get in touch with me on email because I don't read every single comment. I try to, and I usually put a, a heart on them if I've read them, you know, unless, of course, you're calling me a wanker, in which case I probably won't put a heart against that. But um, in general, to let you know that I've quickly read the messages, even if I don't reply, I'll put a heart on it. So don't need to reply to every single message because uh, it just gets extreme then, then. but right uh, 30 horsepower motor, one person job right okay um, what's that Gaetano Meatball hello Matthew hello Gaetano uh, Black Dog says I play with my rubber dinghy at least one or two times a day I bet you do you play with your rubber dinghy. Now is that, is there fuel over there? There's a Waitrose, but I bet they ain't going to be cheap because they're wankers, Waitrose. They're like fucking, yeah, right tossers. Oh, there's an SO garage down the road. Hello, this might be good. But the thing is, if I can make it to Swindon, say, I can get it for £1.4 a litre in Swindon. Ah, it's £1.16 there. Bollocks. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep going. I think I'm just gonna keep on going. Waitrose does not have fuel, and they would be very expre expensive anyway. Waitrose because they like themselves a lot. Right. Who's that then? Somebody's just, um, somebody's just waving to me. I think they know it's me. Hello, we've got a we've got a fan here and it's just pulled me over on the side of the road. Alright mate. Hello Matt. What's happening? So I brought my card, I'd have bought your fuel for you. Oh right, bloody hell. I was watching you from home. He's watching me, look. He's, on your he's, live stream. He's trying to find me. Yeah, look. strange chap. Strange chap, is that I your name? I watch all your videos, mate, you're brilliant. Is that is that if you um, wanted money, I'll give you money. You're no, worth it. You're no, worth no, it. No, but what's the name of the uh, the channel or yourself? No, it's just me, Pete. Pete. I'm into hovercraft. Oh, Pete Hovercraft. Yeah, Pete Hovercraft. Well, yeah. hey, tell you what then, um, let's do a hovercraft explore sometime. Yeah. Do you want to come up with a boat with a hovercraft? Uh, I'll, I'll have to sort, I'll, I'll sort it out. I'm still in the process of sorting out the uh, bits and pieces. But like yeah. I said, I watch all your videos and I'm here. I live in um, Stamford Vale. You thought you'd intercept me on the way, yeah, didn't you? Because you knew you where I was. you said you were going past, you wouldn't pay the BP price. Yes. You said you were on the A420, so yeah. I thought... I, I just waited up there because I thought I'd check you weren't in the garage. That's too expensive, is it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it, well, it's a little bit because I mean I can get ten pence a litre cheaper in. It is at Sainsbury's. You only got yeah. up the road. In, um, in fact, the SO is just as cheap as Sainsbury's. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Angel. Well, we're sort of blocking up the road a little bit here, but yeah, it's been right. nice. Pete, get in touch, man. Hover, yeah. hover. This guy's got a hovercraft. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I just thought I'd say hello. Why not? I, I reckon a hovercraft would those... well take the piss. So we definitely need to ch ch yeah. chat more. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll send you an email or something rather. But yeah. yeah. Okay. Send me an email. Yeah. Keep exploring. I'll just watch your other one in there. In the bad, bad people, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, well, good. Thanks it's for. Nice to see you, man. Thank you for intercepting us. I'll have right. to tell people where I am more often. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just just stopped us on the road. <laughs> Cheers. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's the power of the internet, folks. That's the power of the internet. Ah, what up? Tips are closed. Tip reported. I'm here. Oh, let's keep going on. So he's seen him. He's seen my boat. That's that's crazy, man. He was like a guy, and he was in a van, and he was he was beeping and waving. He was like that, and I thought, oh Christ, is the boat hanging off the back? That's my first thought. Is the boat's hanging off the back? But it wasn't that. He was a fan. Can you believe it? He worked out. Oh oh oh. Richard Perry says, Matt, come to West Midlands. Loads, loads of stuff to run there. Okay, I shall try it. West Midlands. Well, we're going to do that fairly soon because there's some stuff I want to do it. My local Sainsbury was £1.4. I think it's going to be £1.4 up the road here, so I'm going to try that. Um, what does bast bastardism mean to you? Like nothing, apart from it's a word. Um, eh, 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 eh. Hang on, I need to get my speed up a bit. I'm going quite slow here. So we're just uh, parallel with the turning for Uffington White Horse. One pound eight. Somebody said they paid ninety-nine pence a litre in Asda. Wow, that's good. From Manstas. Um, he says the supermarket fuel is diluted and it's less fuel, less, well I don't know if it is but they do put additives in there to make it less, um, uh, less sulphur, so a lot of people, because stuff that's sold in supermarkets is usually the low sulphur, so it, it yeah, but it, it, they can't, they can't water it down because I mean by law it has to be a certain, a certain octane, otherwise they can't sell it, so, you know, um, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think they're allowed to do that. Um, right, what's that? Yo-Yo Matt from Rapid Man. Hello, Rapid Man. It's a name I re recognise. Smash the like button and subscribe, says Merlin, the pigeon whisperer. Well done. He's doing an unpaid job there. Look, you know, telling you to smash the like button. It's perfectly noisy. Here you go. Do you want to tweet? Want to tweet? Here you go. No? So I'm not taking it from your mouth, no.
So anyway, right. Um, uh, over 200 on the chat. There's 225 on the chat now. Right, there's too many messages banging up here. Right. Old Greg. Yeah, I just met old Greg. Got a man down there. <laughs> old Greg. Take you down. <laughs> oh, I've got a big uh, aircraft out there. That looks like uh, one of those um, Stratomasters. Or what do they call them? The C-32s? Strato somethings? Or... Strato cruisers or something is going into Benson. R not, uh, not Benson, RAF um, Bryce Norton probably. Um, yeah. It's going to be a bit reconnecting, it said, reconnecting. Uh, right, tell us about the boats. Well, C 130, that's right. C 130 cargo planes, yeah. And it had four engines on the on the wing, so it was definitely one of those. It was a big, big boy. I can see the Huffington White Horse at the moment. Sure. Now, I haven't stopped anywhere for fuel. Um, and I'm still trying to decide whether or not to go and see Mr. Kerbs. Because I did say I might show him the boat. About drank Bailey from a shoe. Ugh, that's disgusting. Oh, God, I am really low on fuel now. This could get fun. This could get fun in a minute. Really low. Um, supermarket ahead which I think has fuel in it so we can do that but I don't know how close I am oh, just past the McDonald's in Shrivenham so how far is it from Shrivenham to the is it Asda's or Safeways anybody want to work that out for me because I can't change screens you know what this means anyway I'm gonna end up with people coming to say hello in uh, <laughs> in safe ways now. Oh god. Dan Dan did warn me about like, you know, he said, Oh, I don't tell people where I'm gonna where I'm doing the thing because they there's like loads of people turn up and they're like trying to trying to do stuff and then everyone's like, oh, oh can I just say hi and take some photos and can I come with you on the explore? I mean, you know, it's it's nice and all that, but it also it's, it can be distracting when you're trying to get on with doing an explore. Don't overtake, you arsehole. Don't do it. Thank you. That could have been interesting all the time. Must be a bit... If you plan to meet people, it's not such a problem, but, you know, then you become like a tour guide and you're having to kind of, you know, make sure everyone... You chat to everyone so that everyone feels like they haven't been left out, you know, and it's like, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's nice, but... If you're geared up for, if you're, you know, if you come on to do an explore and you've got a limited time and a place, and, and then like loads of people are wanting to chat, then you're going to do less exploring, really. It's just one of those, isn't it? But I mean, if people understand that, you know, you just got to get on with the explore, um, and there ain't going to be much chatting, then that's not so bad. I'm not saying it's bad, that it's a distraction for him, you know, he finds it a bit distracting. Um, but, yeah. You know, I, I don't know, I'll see how I feel about it when, when, I know I get stopped a lot, I've been stopped a few times in town by people who watch the channel from uh, devices, and that's pretty crazy. Like people in my hometown now are going, I watch your channel, I watch your channel, and it's like, that is nuts. To think that, you know, people around me are watching it as well as people all over the world so and obviously it's a, it says a lot about the state of what's on TV if uh, they'd rather be watching me than the BBC 
so isn't it? Does say a lot about the state of the low quality crap television we've got these days. Now, wouldn't it be crap if I ran out of fuel and I had to try and fill it up whilst blocking the road and people pull it past me and beep, 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 beep me and all this sort of shit and it'd be embarrassing because I've got a, like, a big boat and I'm just not being sensible really, am I? Just to save a few pence. Here we go. I think... Oh no, we've still got a bit to go. So how far is it from me to... Did anybody work it out? One mile to the A419. All right. Here we are. It says Swindon now. I'm seeing a sign saying Swindon. So I think we could be good. There's an SO on the right, um, which is crap prices. And then there's the supermarket, which is probably okay prices. So I think it's not going to be too far. Oh, reconnecting again. Bloody hell. Um, Molly Pelly said it's eight miles. Wow. Um, your content's way better than the BBC, and you didn't cover up Jimmy Savile nonsense children for 50 years. No. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't dream of doing such a thing. If uh, if I had a Jimmy Savile in my organisation, I would tell everybody, "Yeah, we have a nonce. We have a nonce, and he's coming with us on an explore today." He's a nonce, so if you just live react to the nonce on the explore, I would say, here, yeah, everybody, we have a nonce with us. <laughs> so I would take a different approach. I wouldn't hide it, I would tell you it. Yeah. Um, yeah, be intelligent, don't trust China, and don't just try these products. Yeah, well... You know, I, I do like my DJI drone, and to be honest, there is nothing better than the DJI drone. Um, so I can see, I, I can see an SO, so I'm, I'm probably out of the woods here. What price is this going to be then? It's going to be a rip-off. Oh, pound three. No, £1.9. £1.9 and pound three for unleaded. Nah, I'm still going to go for the... I'm still going to try and get in for the cheap, the cheap, 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 which I think that's the next turning, isn't it, for the supermarket? I think it's somewhere up here, isn't it? Is it, is it, is it, is it? Do they have fuel here? Symmetry Park. No, it's not there, but it's very close now. Very, very close. Uh, £1.9. We, 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 we're gambling here, folks. This is a gamble. Gambling on the price of petrol. Can we get a? Can we get it down even more before a car conks out? Oh, it's below the it's below the white now. We've gone through the red. We're now on the white. This is critical. This is critical. Oh, oh, superstore with parking. It says. Oh, and it's one pound five. One pound five. One pound five. Where is that pump? Give me that pump. But the thing is, Sainsbury's and Asda's, they um, they do like pay at the pump only, and that's just rubbish. Because my card, because I'm a scumbag and don't earn enough, um, is <laughs> basically I can't I can't pay at the pump. It won't let me do it. Right, how do I get in there? Oh, here we go. Right, because I'm going to take up two, two, two spaces now with this vehicle. Right, so I'll keep transmitting whilst I'm at the pump, which is naughty, but just shh, don't tell them. Don't, don't tell them anybody. Uh, I'm going to have to go in the end, I think, because I need a massive turning circle, probably. Oh, yeah. Good. I didn't. Um, I didn't take out. Uh, <laughs> I didn't take out the tire on the uh, the way in. You've got to be. You've got to really give wide berth when you start turning in these things if you don't want to clip the clip the tire. So yeah, done well so far. 
I'll see you in a minute, folks. Folks, how you doing? How you doing? I've always got a jerry can in the back, so let's try not to clip clip anything. There we go. It's doing good. It's doing good. Oh yes. <laughs> that was a very nice fill-up. Ooh. That did not cost very much. I just put, I just put 50 quid in, and I got nearly 50 litres, that's crazy, that's crazy, it's the time to do explores, is right now I think, now is the time to do explores, so, um, am I going to go and see Mr Curbs briefly, well I will, well, I haven't done it again, have I, I haven't done it, I did say I was going to bring him, um, hmm, uh, so I was like, how am I going to do this then? How am I going to do this? I'm going to go through town. He's going to be a bit of a bitch because I've got this thing on board. But let's go and, let's go and do the crazy things because we're crazy. So I'm going to take it, take myself through Swindon. But I need to contact Mr. Kerb. So let's pull over on the side of the road and let's try and get in touch with him. Because if I don't have to drive all the way, it would be better. Let's pull over where I'm not going to, oh this is a nice bit, I don't, I'm not going to be in anybody, anybody's way here as well, if I pull in by here, wow that's a good, good spot, right let me just see what's going on then, so can I go multi, ah right that's good, so yeah, I've got WhatsApp on one screen and I've got YouTube, YouTube on the other one. Let's see whether or not we get a curbsy. We get a curbsy. Can I get a curbsy? We're nearly there. Well, we're in Swindon. So what I was going to do is I was going to show Curbs the boat and see what he thought of it. He says yes, mate. Right. Okay. I'll I'll be there. Tune into you. Tune into you YouTube. Right, and you can watch me live as I pull up to your place, mate. 
I'm, I'm live streaming. Save me having to tell you on WhatsApp, but I can tell you on WhatsApp, but you know, it'd be easier if I don't have to. So here we go. Get back out into traffic. Yeah, I've seen your live stream, but I miss seeing the boat. Ha 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 ha. Well, when you see it, mate, you're going you, to... Um, <laughs> yeah, hang on a second. Let me just tell him. When you when you see the boat, mate, your, your jaw's going to drop. I'm not even sure I can easily get it in my back lane, to be honest. I might have bitten off a bit more than I can chew, but it's big. But, oh, it looks nice. <laughs> I may have to get this stored somewhere, which I was not planning on. We'll have to see. Maybe if I let the air out of it, if I let the air out of the tubes and fold them in flat, then I can probably get in a much smaller space so the neighbours ain't going to go, what the f But the way it is right now, maybe a bit too mental. We shall have to see. We shall have to see. Have I finally bitten off more than I can chew? I, mean, I, I hope not. I sincerely hope not. I don't. And Curbs is going to laugh when he sees this. He's definitely going to laugh. Turning round down his neck of the woods is going to be bloody hard as well. I have to go quite a distance further on. Oh, hello. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I don't know if uh, Carl is, is watching. I'll get the camera out. Did somebody send me some more money? I've got £8.60. So, yeah, whoever you are, thank you. Um, a pigeon is for life, not just for Christmas. And not just for eating either, you know. Pigeons are not just for eating. wouldn't want to eat that pigeon anyway because uh, you might end up getting a mutant form of its um, its illness I suppose but yeah right now I've got to try and work out the best way to go to cut across town to get to curbs so I'm up near the Tesco's at the moment um, curbsy so uh, what's that saying that's just gonna be the next right with these lights I think yeah so I'm up at Tesco so I'm going to cut across by the um, uh, outdoor centre you know the um, uh, what's it called I can't remember what it's called now but it's something like outdoor living or or it's the one that charges you this, the silly rates because they, it's like unless you've got their card they charge you a higher rate to buy things in the store that, so you, you you take the stuff to the counter and then they bugger about with the prices. Um, yeah, you will get to see the boat in about five minutes. But I can give you a sneak peek. No, I can't. I can't give you a sneak peek because the, the traffic lights have changed. So hang on a minute. I'm not going to do that when I'm driving. I love my game hens. All right, so you eat them. Okay. But aren't they your friends? I mean, what is these hens? They're your friends. Why, why would you eat them like that? This is not good. So we've got, whoa, whoa. We've got bloody vehicles doing silly stunts now. That's weird. What's going on there then? Right, so, uh, yeah, probably about five to ten minutes max, really. What's that, what's that store called? It's got a blue sign with green writing. Right, what price is Tesco's? That's £1.5 as well, by the looks. Just passing Tesco's. £1.5. Oh, we've got 251 people watching us. This must be exciting. Anyway, this boat is. It's a biggie. It's a biggie. I'm not sure it would be a good idea to sit on it when it's on the back. But 
I'll try and this there's a guy there and he's he's got his freaking trousers halfway down they're literally like he's, he's, they're off they're over the bottom of his ass they're not hanging up his ass they're halfway they they are literally halfway down right what's it called it's called go outdoors that's right go outdoors that's where I'm passing now so Ching. right okay coming to the roundabouts. Somebody's got a scooter just like mine. That's the Me 365. Is it the M E M I Me something? I think it's a Me 365. Good little scooter. I used to pop down the road, get down the shops a bit quicker. It's very walkable. It's like about three minutes walk, but I prefer just having a bit of fun on the scooter. So, curbs, I'm probably about um, it's away from yours at the moment. So, uh, watch this space. If these horrible traffic lights don't don't get me, then I'll be coming through quite quick. They're on red at the moment, but come on, puppies. somebody with a, a trailer. Oh, and somebody's just pulled out like a twat in front of him. Honestly. You can see, like, you know, this person is parked on the opposite side of the road. There's a trailer coming towards him, which is, like, wider than his vehicle, and they just go and pull out from parked right in front of him. And I'm par I'm, I'm st stuck in the middle of the road to let him come through, and they just go zoom straight in front of him. Absolute wankers. Honestly. And that meant now I'm stuck on the reds, because... That wank have got to go through, and I didn't. God, that guy's got a weird beard. Then, it's like a ginger beard. Look, really beard. We, I'm sorry, Ali Law, but that that was not like your beard. That was a weird beard. Right. Oh, Kirby. I'll be, I'll be at yours now, in about a minute, I'll be there, I'm, I'm going to have to park on the main road though, I can't, I can't come down, you'll have to come out onto the main road, whoa, and hopefully nobody's going to know where you live, so I'll try and, uh, I'll be a bit discreet with the way I film, so how does that sound, coming out the front Mr. Kerbsey, coming out now, Come out, come out now. So, yeah, oops, there's a. I'm just moving everybody on. So, I don't know if I can, if I can pull up there. Hang on, I have to, I have to move because the dog's going nuts because there's a dog there. So, uh, yeah, I'll pull up on these double. Yet. Yellows, but pull up on the double yellows. Try and get out of people's way. Standing on, outside his, standing on the window up there. That's weird. Oh, he's doing painting. That's risky. Right, where is Mr. Kerbs? Angel need, needs punishment. Yeah, she wants to attack, attack other dogs ruthlessly. Right, come on, Kerbs. Where are? You? Sorry, folks. I thought I. I thought I was on dual screen then, but I wasn't. So let's.
Here he is. Let's point it down at down at the ground because I don't want I don't want to reveal where you live. <laughs> He's here. Woof. Woof. No way. He, he, he said like he said he was looking a bit nuts, was it? <laughs> Here he is, Mr. Kirby. I'm not gonna show where he lives. We'll keep, we'll keep it keep it discreet. Hey, hey, don't don't come out now. Yeah, I got a lift at my never can see. Yeah. So we're we're somewhere in Swindon now, but what do you reckon to this then, mate? Fucking brilliant, isn't it? He's big. He's big. Look at look at the size of curbs compared to that then. <laughs> You've got about 30 people in here. Six each side, mate. 12 people. So is it just the boat you got? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you've got you to gotta put the, your own controls in there when they come with the engine. like. It? Yeah. I guess you get to get the engine, you can steer it at the back though, can't you? You won't have to bother with that. Well, you can, you can, but uh, yeah, it depends what I can get hold of, really. These are sliding out. They've slid out quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. You've got a good deal with that, man. <laughs> yeah. A lot better than the other one, though, isn't it? Yep, yep. So I have to, I've got to film you downwards so we don't, <laughs> yeah. we don't get any road in. We don't want to let people know where you, where you live. Over there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Oh, can we see? Well, look, at, look at the size of this. Compared compared to my like my head. He's not rip easy, though. Yeah. Nah, not. Really. They got they got dual reinforcements on the end. You can get patches like that. Then, can't you can you can actually patch them back up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a solid transom. That can take a forty horsepower. That thing. Oh right. Yeah. I was just thinking. How would you put that onto the back of this like that? Yeah, yeah. Really, that's solid. Is the whole floor solid throughout? Yeah, it's aluminium. Oh, yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Yep. What's that? The front of plug. Uh, <laughs> no, that's to that's to that's to put the keel up. All right. That's so you can you can bring the keel up. What, can it's you got say a it? uh, no, it's got it. Well, right. so you can steer it. You know, All the right. keel is the keel is for rigid, rigidity. For so have a look. See the keel underneath. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an inflatable keel. This gives you a bit more stability. Yeah, I see what it means. It gives the underneath of the boat yeah. shape. Yeah. Because otherwise you can you, you can skid. The other one's flat underneath, isn't it? No, no, that's got it as well, but you don't see it. All right. And I only put it up, uh, not during transport, and I did ask him, is it best to have the keel up on this or not? And he said, yeah, keep it up. <laughs> so, all right then, whatever. So, yeah. That's it. Well, you can see, you can see the size of, <laughs> size of curbs. Whoops, I'm showing you my uh, registration there, but you can see, sta if you stand next to it, look. Right. Massive. <laughs> there we go, look. There's the curbs next to it. See how big it is? Well, yeah. we can have a look for croc size. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's probably a few people laughing now. It says, oh, distortion says hi there, Curbs. Oh, um, yeah? Yeah. Bad for signal, yeah. Bad for signal, yeah? yeah. <laughs> right. No 5G around here. <laughs> well, I've got to try and get this around the back, the back garden with, where my neighbours are, what I'm seeing, or I might have to get a hand from them to get it in. And then I'm gonna go. Um, what, have you got to go over a fence? No, 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 no. no but I, I, but to get this in, I'm gonna need help. Yeah, you're gonna get that. In on your own. I mean, it's it's you're gonna. Not a driveway to put up. Well, I, this is the lane around the back, isn't it? So yeah, I have to put it in the lane. But we'll we'll survive. I was thinking maybe what I what I might do is if it's too big, I might just deflate. You know, so it it takes yeah, up. Yeah, that's it. Can't you sort of? You can deflate it, yeah, and it'll go in. I guess it's go only in. gonna go down inside. There, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, let's try and get the. Uh, let's move these down because they, they've actually moved up a lot since I've driven. I think they just skid, skid down. Can you pull that one down on that side? That's it. Just push. No, that way. Oh, that way. Yeah. It's moving towards the front when I brake. See. Good though, isn't it? Seats and everything. Seats. Yeah, well, what you do is in this. This has been made out of somebody's um, yeah number plate, I think. No, it's, no? A, it's a one of those a road sign? signs. Somebody's <laughs> made out made the back. It's got a reflector oh, out of a, a road sign. sign. <laughs> I thought this was an official. I thought this was the official one they sell, but it looks like somebody's made this up. They've nicked a road sign. It's quite thick Can you see a road it? Sign, Can you see they've nicked a road sign? <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> That's nuts. They should have put that stuff on the outside yeah, so it'd be reflective. Cool, it? Yeah, so it'd be reflective.
but this is a bit like that one that we got stopped in by the by the oh, no, military that's police. Funny. I watched that. That was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, they come on you like flies, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Well, I did tell yeah. I did tell Dan not to uh, not to uh, do the thing. I'm trying not to get my number plate in, but. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, well I'm gonna I'm gonna have a move a mooch around I think, and uh, we'll be getting getting ourselves uh, off to. Um, did I did I have that working? Yeah, sorry. I, I keep covering up the camera by mistake, but there we are. Right, well I'm gonna get a move on, get it out of my back garden, and start start looking for engines next. So, and I may need to get some advice from a friend on uh, what engine he recommends. But this is what it says here. Look. It says you can have a maximum of 12 Wait people. Look, 12 people, it says. Yeah? Wow. 12 people. Six each side, look. Six people on each side. So, hey, Dan Dixon, you've got no more reason to complain now, mate. Right? right. Oh, so, yeah, it says that you've got, you got to work out from the people to what you've taken to the engine. Got 1,600 kilos minus so the, en the engine weight. Engine 40 horsepower. Is that would have been the original engine, I guess? Yeah. Oh, what's this sticky crap? Oh, yeah. Sticky crap. I don't think it's a glue, is it? No, it's I some... think it's duct tape. No? Yeah, something's been stuck on there. Ah, uh, you know what I might have been? Unless he put heat stuff on there for the engine. On the could, sides. could be, yeah. I think he had, um, he had uh, two, oh, sorry. He had two poles yeah. up on there for uh, fishing stop rods. It, stop it snagging. Yeah, for fishing yeah. rods. So the only thing you've got to watch with these is if yeah. you snag it or put a hole in it, it's going to do it right in. Yeah, well, they've got multiple... Um, uh, compartments no. like the, there's a compartment there. There's a second compartment. There's oh, so two if front one compartments. Got a punch, it would only yeah, that piece down. that's right. Oh, yeah. Right. So so that's a compartment. That's a compartment. There's two compartments at the front, and there's two more down the side here. So if one went down, you could still you could still go along. Yeah, it's along. a proper job then. Yeah. <laughs> it is a proper job. It's quite a it's sure. quite a secure beastie. You know, so re multiple redundancy. So Dan Dan Dixon proof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, he could take us down a cave and... Uh, we'll get the punctures. Well, yeah, we could get a puncture, but we'd still be able to carry on. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So there we go, folks. Yeah. All we need to do now is maybe get some... We might have to get some insurance on this to be able to put it down in certain harbours and things like that. If you don't get insurance, you can't um, use their slipways. No, no, you don't need to moor it because it's not it's not permanent. I thought it just class you could go on the rivers and that. Yeah. Well if you're gonna be if you're gonna stay on the river and you're gonna actually use, use it. You need that for to yeah. actually live on that. If you're gonna yeah. stay, then if you're not gonna stay, then you uh, you can basically I have to put the camera up there. Yeah, basically it's a valve, you just need some type of cover. Yeah, you just need like insurance cover. There's a man there hanging out of his window doing painting, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, this looks this looks much better than my last one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what's the size of your last one? I can sort of remember the size. It's uh, sort of I think it's a two point nine or a three point five or something like that. No, it's, it's about up to. I think it's about about up to here. There's an extra two meters on this. Yeah. I think mine's a three point nine, and this is a five point three. So it's an extra meter and a half or something. Yeah. It's better. wider. It's a lot wider. I mean, the, the have you got the pump to pump this up then? Yeah. 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 So, you, it shouldn't be as taut as this, it's because it's. Um, What's it using? Like an airbed pump? Uh, yeah. I've got a, a foot. Well, it's like a push pump, you know? Oh, yeah, so you don't have to pump it. This has got too much air in it right now. It's way too much air, but I'm keeping it tight because we're travelling. Yeah. Um, but you wouldn't normally have it that tight. It's because um, the air's uh, expanded because of the heat. Yeah. So you've got to let the air out when it's hot. It's black. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help. It's red hot. Yeah, it is hot. <laughs> yeah. At least it comes with a trailer. That's one way you have to find another trailer to get the... Oh, doggy. <laughs> right. Okay then, mate. I'm going to make a move then. Yeah. So, good to see you. Yeah, and you, man. We'll catch you soon. And uh, we'll try and get it out as soon as I can get a, an engine for it. I mean, I could, need is an engine. I could take the... I could put the 10 horsepower on you, but only for, like, Struggle, local, local yeah. use, you know? Struggle. Well, it's surprising actually because you can get about forty miles an hour out of my ten really? horsepower. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but on the small boat, see. Eh? Must feel like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it was pretty quick, and it was creating a hell of a wake behind it. But 
Um, but yeah, we could we could get it out uh, in a small area with a small engine just to Have test it. Ben struggling to get his. Ben. Ben's a video of me has got a boat as well. He's struggling to get his engine going. All oh, right. Yeah, you might have to message him about it. I've tried messaging him. But... Okay. Right, we'll do that then. We'll get in touch with him. I don't know the guy, see, so. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll give you a shout when I get back. Yeah, we we'll do. Okay, mate. Uh, if you see any engines at Barks, send them to you. Let me know, man. Yeah. Have you got Uh, I, I'm thinking 25 plus. Yeah, okay. Cheers, man. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Doggy pups. Right, we're back in now. Let's have a look. Oh, sorry, I'm covering my... I'm covering my thing up. Oh, it's hot in here now. Sorry. Dog, it's getting really hot in the car, isn't it? Right. So there we go. Now I've got to find a way to turn around. Because there's not many spaces in a place like this. And I'm not going to do a U on the road with this. So, wow. Sorry about that. Um, just needed to get the the thing to come up full screen again for YouTube. Sorry if you got disconnected just for a second. Right, could I do a UE by here? Hmm. Possibly. Possibly, possibly, possibly. Possibly, let's just see. Yes, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh. So, um, that's the legendary Mr. Curbs, and we are uh, heading back home now. So, just have to take a deep breath and uh, hope my neighbours don't flip out. definitely have to say to them, well, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be, and it's a lot wider than I thought it was going to be, so, um, it may be, I'll store it here temporarily, until I can find somewhere to put it, and then we'll, uh, we'll play it by ear like that, so, I think, um, I think we'll have to sort of uh, try and get it in there temporarily and see how we go. Just see if they see if they say anything. Right. So what we got then? I like your videos. Ele elevator technician. Yes, Mr. Kerbsey. Uh, Rapid Man says I might be out this weekend. Where are you going to be, Rapid Man? Where will you be? swerve in and out of uh, gaps now to kind of give me clearance. Oh, it's a beast, this boat. It's going to be so much fun taking this out, but it is a beast. There's no two ways about it. It's a beast. beast. No messing about. I don't know what I should call it. I call it Fat Sea. <laughs> Would be a good one, wouldn't it? Call it the Fat, fat Bitch. HMS, HMS Fatty. It's a big, big one. Won't have any trouble getting all my kids in this. But I might want to get myself um, oh, some more of those. Uh, well, get a pelican case or something for my camera. I've got those. No, I have got those floaty, floaty things that you can put my equipment in. So if they fall out, then they don't, um, they don't disappear away. Very good. We need to get back over to Drake's Island. To Drake's Island, we need to get on to Drake's Island. We need to do it. 
So I'm not I'm not far from home now, actually. So uh, I still think there's going to be a justifiable use for my small boat, just for for missions, you know. But this is going to be the one for the the long getting out to sea missions. So uh, there's a definite um, is, you know, for different types of size of boat. I'd like to take it to Bristol, Bristol Harbour, and play around with it in the harbour. Um, but I'm going to have to have to find out about the use of the slipways because you're supposed to have insurance, and um, I might be able to sort out some cheap boat insurance quite quickly and get a cover note or whatever. Um, if you haven't got cover you have to pay to use the slipway, so um, I'm not sure if you have to pay to use the slipway if you don't have cover, so I'll call it the fat bastard, yeah, but you're not, but the thing is, is boats are always female, so I'd have to call it the fat bitch, because you can't really call it the fat bastard, because there would be a male, and it's bad luck, boats have to be females, so it'd have to be the fat bitch, I think. Yeah, insurance is cheap enough, yeah, and it'd probably be better for me to get it, you know, just in case. I'm more worried about, you know, if I did damage to somebody else's boat rather than my own, per se. You know, that's that's something to think about, isn't it? You know, we end up causing trouble for somebody else. Sure. So we're less than an hour away from home now. What day? Oh god, there's messages coming through. My dad's boat is called Sour Plume. Sexist in this day and age. It should be male. Okay. You mean you want me to jinx my boat straight away? If I've even got it in the water. Let's call it the fat bitch for now. And then by the time Sea mills, yeah. Well, sea mills um, is is Avonmouth, isn't it? So I'll be out onto the estuary going out if I go to sea mills. Um, I have to find out what the, what time the tides are as well because it'll obviously. You can get back in. Do you know if there's any charges to take in in and out of sea mills? Your wife? No. No, I haven't got a wife. That wouldn't. Uh, that wouldn't work well for me. If you know anyone who owns a boat, you can add your boat as a tender. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So I can. I can send basically a tender for their boat and ride in on their allowances to get in and out. So does anybody know anybody who has a boat in um, Bristol? that I can kind of ride in on their boat as a, t as a tender for it. I was going to say tinder then, but I don't know why that popped into my head. <laughs> I've never used that. Never been on it, but I just know the name. But t typical for my brain to kind of think the filth... the filth... mode. So yeah. navigating the roundabouts in Schweintown. Just leaving Schweintown now, it's just coming to the outskirts. Heading off back home in a minute. So how many we got? We've got 260 people and 120 likes. So hopefully we've all got to see the boat now a little bit. So bow off the portway mate. So a new boat basically, yeah, Moon is a new boat and um, 
it's a bigger boat. It's a much bigger boat. It's so big, some people might think it's silly, but it's my boat. There are many like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> yeah. So if I could just get my, get this planted around the back of the house, I'll be halfway there. But it'll be interesting. So we shall have to see. We shall have to see how this plays out. Well, it's going to be. It's going to be interesting. It's going to get very interesting, very quick. Road signs are very useful. The boat looks fantastic. Yeah, it's a. It's a bad boy. He's a bad boy. So we will. Um, when I get home, I'll cut the stream because I'm obviously going to have way too much of my hands at that point, and I'm going to have to get the boat in, which is going to be a joke. You know, that's going to be funny, fun, 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 fun. So um, I will have to cut the stream then. But we've got about 45 minutes till I get back home till that till that happens. So I I got up at 6:30 this morning, and it's now uh, one o'clock. So I'll be back up by two. So I've been up for quite a long time to get this boat. But yeah, I reckon we're going to be able to test this out fairly soon. Probably get it in. Uh, probably get it into Bristol and test it out in the in the harbour, which would be easier before we start doing anything too wild. We need to get a big engine for it. It has no brake lights and no indicators on it at the moment. So, and I need to get a brake chain as well, just in case it comes off the uh, off the ball. God, you, you've got no idea how long it's been since I've actually had. Um, 50 litres of fuel in my vehicle. That's crazy. I thought, special occasion, special occasion, let's do it. Let's, let's live, live life daily. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He beat me, but I can't see no lights. There's no bloody lights. It's like, you know, you're at, you're at the lights. There's your two cars back. You can see the bloody lights. The lights are up there. I can't see the lights. So that's why we had a beep. And the woman next to me, she went, she went, all right, mate, all right, mate. You know, because she was getting flustered because somebody beeped her as well. You know, it's like we both got beeped because neither of us knew the lights were changing. Because of the crap placement of the lights. Anyway. Uh, so what were people saying? It's 7.40 in the USA. Excellent. So, two-litre twin-cam car engine. Yeah, there was some sort of sporty boy racer. Beeping, you know, because we weren't we weren't fast enough for him. You know, it is it is very important life. So we're gonna climb a hill in a minute, so that's gonna get interesting. Climb a big old hill from Swindon up. You alright, baby? Mom, mom, mom. Yeah, she's a good girl. She's a good girl. Yes, you are. She's a good girl. Yeah, we take you home. Yes. She likes that when I say we're going to be going home. She's like, yes, I want to go home. I want it. I want to go home. Yes, you good girl. You're a good girl. So, right, what are people saying? Uh, the Daniel. That's what I've been saying. Of the traffic lights quicker than you. Um, I jumped two and I'm watching. Yeah, when the beep, when the horn beeped. Yes. You always wonder, like, what's what is it? Have I done something wrong, or you know? And it's like traffic lights have changed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So 
I've got lots of interesting stuff to do today. they got two cars in their bit of the driveway so why can't I have two vehicles in mine okay one's a boat that's reasonable but I just know the looks I'm gonna get are gonna be like initially um, but it is you know it's just like it's just a big old fat old vehicle like it'd be like having a caravan there would be as much of a pain in the arse but that'd be more of an eyesore than this because this is going to tuck out the way, but, you know, at the end of the day, we shall have to see what we can, we can do, but it's going to get interesting, it's going to get very interesting. field called Rawton now at the moment. So I'm not what people are saying. Um, there goes the property price. Yeah. Don't need an engine just for somebody to row to you. Yes. funny feeling I'm not going to be able to fit my car and this boat around the back to be honest. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit the two the two in there but we shall see. I think it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a push. Somebody's probably going to end up rubbing their hands from the uh, the rent they're going to charge me to keep this. Oh, what? Oh, the road is closed. Piss off. The bloody road is closed. Oh, you fucking wankers. 4361 is bloody closed. So I'm screwed. Is that serious? They, they've did. Oh, they really have done that, have they? They've really done that to me. Thank you. Right, maps. I need maps. I need maps. I am, I am screwed right now because there are vehicles coming, and I have got to work a route out to get now. Ah, you bastards! You bastards! God, how can I, how can I type anything in when my keyboard has taken up 99% of the screen? Google. Really? Great. That's not good. That is not good. Avoiding the road closure. <laughs> oh, let's just close the road. Let's just close the entire road off. Well done. Right, where am I going to go now then? I gotta go all the way. Oh, that's. Oh, shit. See, I've made a mistake because now. Oh, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna reverse back.
try and reverse back. Deciding they want to stop now to sort of right. Let's let people go past. Come on then. Go on, go past. Go past. Go past. It. I'm doing a high speed reverse. That's the one. Keep going. That's it. Expertly done, Matt, if I say my, so myself. Thank you very much. Now I've got to cut across. Across uh, to Marlborough because that road closure. I forgot there's a way you can go over a place called Hackpen Hill. <sighs> That's the only way I can do it. They're saying, like, you know, yeah. So I've got to go up the Hackpen Hill, which is quite steep, with the boat. And then I've got to go all the way across to Marlborough and then cut across back home. It's not ideal, but. What the hay? What the hay? So, um, right. So, what am I? What am I doing now? What am I doing? Uh, yeah. Right. I've got my route planned in my head now, so that's fine. And. out of the way, I've got to move a load of stuff, and then I can reverse this new boat into position, and then see what I can or cannot do. Road ahead closed between Avery and Broad Hinton. Yeah. Um, so, okay guys, let's see if I can pick up what you're saying. I don't know if I can. 12 inch singles full of gas and ready to go from the first three albums. He's not happy. Oh, I'm, I'm okay now, but um, you know, it's just one of those things. It's like I drove up this road earlier on and there was no signs saying they were closing the road. It was like, oh, later on we're going to close the road. It's just like nothing. And then you come back and then it's like, oh, we've just closed everything now. Bye. It's like, where's the warning signs telling you, oh, by the way, we're going to close this stuff? I could have driven through Marlborough and just avoided this crap. You know what I mean? I could have come back a different route, but they didn't say that they were going to do this. So I drove past, you know, earlier on and there was nothing there. So anyway, but it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Doggy's happy anyway. Got red stuck out the window. She's happy. Oh, take us a little bit longer to get home. Yes, I know. And I might have to park on the road tonight. We shall see. I can, I can 
can see that happening. Well, this is this is big enough to put one of those consoles in the middle. You know, like you sit in the middle of the boat. <laughs> it's big enough for me to be able to do that, probably to get a middle console with a with a seat. That'd be crazy. like YouTube has just decided to put a would you like to report them or remove them or hide them or what would you like and it won't let me get off it what do I come away from that I can't click go I can't ah! right sorry about that when you're in split screen mode and something pops up on the screen there is no way to get rid of it because there's nowhere that you can click around the screen that's large enough for you to click off the screen uh, so yes how much did I sell my drone for 800 that's with the hacks and everything with it and a box and case and multiple batteries and all that sort of stuff so yeah um, that chap's gonna be coming over to do some more drone flying test um, hi Matt says Daniel Draper hello and uh, you Matt hello from somebody I'm going up a hill now, so I can't look at that. Probably get the police to like knock on my door. You know, like something that's never happened for Dan or Carl or any of those saying, "Why are you live streaming when you're doing any car? Why, why are you doing that for?" We'll probably get a knock on the door. Mr. Williams, we've seen your videos on the internet. Because <laughs> it's honestly anything and everything that they can try and throw at me, they try. Welcome to my world. So, yeah, probably get in trouble for that, but, yeah, what the, what the hey. What's it saying? Somebody said, um, so you've just been out with a bought a new boat. Yes, I have. Yeah. An angel's done well in the car. Yeah, she's been stuck in here for ages. In fact, that's a good point, actually. I'll just pop, I'll just pull over and let the dog have a pee. It's a very good point. So, the dog's probably going to scatty now. Why you do this to me? Big enough to just pull in. Uh, might be. Just about. Just about. Squeeze us. Squeeze us in here. Right. Be back in a second. I'm just going to let the dog out for a quick wee. I'll take, take it with us. You can see. You can see the dog again. There she goes. There she goes. A nice countryside. This is known as Barbary. Barbary Racetrack. I think uh, it's actually over there, the Barbary Racetrack. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, where is it? Somewhere nearby. There's the boat, look. That's the boat. Yeah. Big, big old boat. Come on, Em. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm able to get that around the back somehow. Mm hmm. Yeah. I think it'd be a bloody miracle if I could get that around the back. There it is, in all its glory. You can see, it's my hand in comparison to the size of the boat. Yeah? Big. Very big. You can see how big it is. So let's get this show on the road. Oh, come on, then. let's get the show on the road. Plug it back in. Yeah, they said, oh, that's nice, posh bolt. Right, um, noise. Piss break. Well, oh, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, speak to you in a second. Ching. 
That's better. Tinkle, tinkle. Yep. Super chat. Well. Yeah, I paid 14 I'm wondering actually, oh sorry I'm not on the right screen am I? I'm wondering, there's um, there's somebody I do know who's got a bit of land and I may, I may find out whether or not they would be up for us putting some stuff there or not. And we'll, uh, we'll see, but if they start rubbing their hands like thinking, uh, ooh, make some money, yeah. I'm going to be going, yeah, mate, see you later. You know what I mean? I don't mind paying a reasonable amount, but I'm not paying through the bloody nose. You know? So we shall see. Anyway, if you're living in the vicinity of where I live and you've got a place where I could store it, I'd be happy to speak to you. If it's cheap or free, very happy to speak to you. Sure, well, he's cutting across the back route now to Marlborough. Merlinsborough, as it's also known. I might be able to get this in my back garden if I deflate it and fold it in on itself. I might be able to get it in there then, but I don't think I'll be able to get it in there as is. Might be able to uh, do a bit of a naughty and fool fool the uh, the brains the neighbours by getting it in there and then folding it down. You never know. I might manage to achieve a if I can do that and still get the other boat on top of it, which would mean yes, that'd be very good. That would be very very good. Yeah, it's bad signal around here. It might pick up again now as we get towards Marlborough, but um, we are travelling across um, a back road. It's a cut-through road. So, let this car go past. Let him go past a minute. I'm going pretty slow and I don't want to blast it around these corners in this in these lanes so I'm back, apparently but I don't know how strong I'm back let's see if I can work it out let's see I'm getting oh 4g two bars of 4g it's probably not a brilliant image but still um, at least the dog's been out for a pee. She's a lot happier now. saying we're back yeah we are definitely back so uh, feel like I know you yes yeah we've been we've been together now for a long time. to slow down because I could easily hit the boat on the sides of the road here because it's so narrow and cars are trying to pass me so I'm having to slow down duck in a bit and then duck back out again I might let some people go past me now I just let some cars go past so um Yeah, 
cars go past me because I'm going to keep them slowed down otherwise. There we go. Can't take any chances with really going close to the edge because that boat is wider than my car. So. Won't get the boat under the gates in Bristol. The gates? Uh, too wide, you mean? I think it'll be too wide to get it through. Uh, it's narrow gates or something. Okay. I'd have to. I'd have to work that out before setting off. I'll have to give them a ring anyway and, and find out what the deal is with that. Because I know you can pay a daily rate to um, to take a boat on the harbour if you're going to do it the, the strictly correct way. But um, the way I've done it in the past is I've just self-launched it from that small pontoon. But uh, yeah, it'd be good to get to get it done properly with some insurance. You know that would be better. So. Um, Gates Carl bashed his head on. Really? Carl bashed his head on some gates. I don't know what, what ones those are now actually. Now we're going through posh old Marlborough now. again. I reckon you've got bigger ambitions than just Bristol <coughs> Harbour. Yes, I have, but it's a case of getting it in the water for a bit of fun, you know, just to kind of, just to see what's happening. I don't even know whether this boat is suited for a short shaft or a long shaft. The worm misses. Um, because it's a lot bigger than my other one, so chances are this might actually require a long shaft. <coughs> Vanguard 535, if anybody wants to tell me whether it's a long shaft or a short shaft I'll need. So, um... With that boat, it would be easy to get in the hole near Castle Park. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, it's a little boat for that hole. You'll get this in there. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy, crazy, crazy. Sam and Jess are back, back in the house. I have not got home yet, Sam and Jess. I'm still driving, so it's half past one. I'll probably be home by about two. And I don't think this boat is gonna fit out my, my, my side of my house somehow, Sam and Jess. I, I don't think it's gonna do it. I may have bitten off a lot more than I can chew here, which is a good, good thing to do, isn't it, really? Because as the Church of the Subgenius tells us, um, I've got to remember how the quote goes, it's like, um, too much is better than not enough. That is the, uh, that is the saying of the Church of the Ch Subgenius, and it is a law I live by. Too much is better than not enough. Yay. So more legend. Back. Yes, indeed. Where are you back from? What have you been up to? How could you leave us like that? What's wrong with you? Don't you've got needs too? <laughs> I've got needs, you know. I've got needs. I'm a man, goddammit. And I've got needs. They're laughing now. Um, oh, right. Distortion Bristol says we've been in it. It's a dead end. Jess is baking. You mean you left me to cook food? Oh my God! I mean that little to them. You see, Angel. That's what they. That's the. I know. See, my dog. 
get a t-shirt with um, <laughs> I've got needs <laughs> and it's just special needs <laughs> underneath the boat is still on the back it's amazing the boat's still there close to home. Have the bastards been caught who set the fire in the guild hall? No, there's no clues. The police uh, contacted it. I said, well, no. I think it's you know, may have watched one of our videos, perhaps. I don't know, but that is sad. It's not an easy place to get into. It's actually quite, it was quite well secured. Um, and we didn't give enough clues as to how we got in that would make it easy for anyone. It's, it's, it's quite, unless you really knew, and, we, and I'm not just saying this now, unless you really knew what you were doing, you would not be able to get to where we got to get into that place. It required specialist knowledge. Um, so whoever did it, either had an inside piece of information, which is sad because if you think that somebody you know is tipped off, somebody who would do something like that, that's, that's a bit sad, um, but shit happens, shit happens, but well, I don't think it's anybody who was close to me, yeah, and yeah, maybe I can get a t-shirt with Angel's head on it, and um, <laughs> the, the, the slogan underneath to say, I've got needs, <laughs> I've got needs. got needs in you. You have got needs. Do you need a treat? Do you need a treaty? Do you need a treaty? Oh, hang on. I don't... I thought there was more in there. Can I add more? No, I think she's had them all. Oh dear. Unless they're in the office. But maybe I have slipped in there. Or maybe she nicked him. Maybe she nicked him. I don't know. She's nicked. She's been in the pocket. She has been in the pocket at all the treats when I was talking to Curbs. See how crafty she is? She went in the pocket because I was talking to Curbs. She went in the pocket, nicked all the treats. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you've had them all. You've eaten them all. I haven't got any for you now. You've eaten them. You had a whale of a time by the looks of it. This is probably going to end up living up uh, somebody I know. I know they've got a large plot of land, so I can imagine this may well end up going to live up there with them. I can see that being a thing, this big boat, unless I can deflate it and decrease its size. It is way too big right now. says, Daddy, Matt, buy me more treats or I'm off. Yeah. Indeed. There are more back at the house for us, so she's okay. We've got some in the bank, don't worry. We've got them in the bank. It's all good. still think of you as face down in the mud mat. What? You still think of me face down in the mud? Where are we going on this trip? Well, just about to pass Silbury Hill. I shall show you. Hang on. I'll bring the camera up. Now. I can show you. 
Silbury Hill. We are passing Silbury Hill, the famous Silbury Hill, that thing over there on the right hand side. So that is the biggest, that's the largest man-made mound in Europe. That's made by people. Put all that up there. So that's where we're at. Because I had to divert, I couldn't go through Avery, we had to divert unfortunately, so now we are we're on the last bit of the, the ride home, which is gonna see me parking up my boat outside my house, getting it in the back and then deflating it and seeing whether we can get the um, the trailer in there. I mean I could I could de-rig it and i put the put the boat in the house. You know? So this would be possible, but we shall see. This might be possible. So we shall indeed see. But uh until I can get some more space sorted out, but I need, I do really need to take the boat apart to see whether there's any by something going through. Oh, hello, I'm live again. Ah, ah. we always lose signal going past Silbury. Are you Silbury? But did you see it? Did you actually see Silbury? Because we lose Sil when we go past Sil Silbury. Did you see Silbury Hill? Tell me if you saw it. Um, you are the best as well, Matthew. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you, Chris Bland. Uh, what else we got? Linda Bonhau says it's an alien pyramid built by Moses. An alien pyramid built by Moses. Okay. Well, what's your plans with this new boat? Well, we're going to go and see some interesting stuff with this new boat. We're going to go and do some real, some proper explores. We're going to go some places that. They say, you can't go, and they say, it's too crazy, and you'd have to be insane to go. And that's where we're going to go. We're going to go to those places that they say, you can't go. It would be too crazy, too insane, and that's where we're going to go. Because that's the way we like it. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. Let's get the uh, windows closed a bit so you can hear us a bit more. Uh, a little bit less noise. So, um, hey dude, did you consider going back to Tricung? Yes, I have. Just haven't got round to it. But when I go back there, I want to go back there in style. I want to go back there in style. I want to do something funny. So, um, yeah. I want to, I want to totally smash the place. Metaphorically speaking, or bust it, as we used to say. So I want to smash it, smash it up. Yeah. Because um, yeah, I think I think um, that's got some secrets. It needs to give up that place. Uh, yeah. Take a trip down Ross on Y Rabbits. Oh no, thanks. I could do without that. Ugh. New, 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 new. No thanks. Sounds a bit intense. Do some canoeing though. I used to I used to canoe with the scouts. So we could do a bit of canoeing, that would be good fun. Might be good fun to actually uh, canoe up the uh, da -da 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 the place we got nearby the the um, Kennet and Avon Canal. Get a little uh, kayak. So the trouble with canoes is if you tip them over, you get water in them. And then they won't float again then. So a kayak is better, a sit on kayak is better, because if you tip that over, yes, you're going to get wet. But when you re rewrite it, it has got water inside it. So I'd much rather a kayak, sit on kayak, rather than uh, rather than a canoe. So it's a 
Good afternoon, Matt. Secret Vault is the best channel on YouTube. You're awesome, mate. Thank you. <coughs> Love you too, honey. Honey buns. Just something to keep me occupied whilst on a long drive doing live stream. And I've made 40 quid plus this 8 quid pounds, £8.60. That's £48 I've made doing this drive. So that has paid for the petrol. So, thank you very much. Or as we say in Wales, and I got to, this, this is going to get my, this, this is going to get demonetized for me saying this, but thank you very much. Or as we say, wank your furry crutch. Yes. Um, so I'll get you laughing, I'm sure, in the channel. Well done, he says. Poor dog. Oh, easy tiger. She's all right. You're all right. You nicked all the treats, didn't you? You nicked all the treats. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you nicked all the treats. Thank you. Snot now on my glasses. Great. There we go. So, Diolchen Fauren. Surely has to be the name of the boat. <laughs> Honey buns. Yeah, that'd be funny, isn't it? That would be funny. Funny, funny, funny. Sure. I'm probably going to have to make myself up a uh, number plate for the back. Because I haven't got one with my registration on it at the moment, which is very good. I like that. It's got somebody else's registration on it. So when I put that on, I ain't get no tickets with that one. It's terrible behaviour. I would not condone such behaviour. This is a terrible thing to do. Oh, hello. 208. 208 people are with me in the car. It's amazing. That's why I got a big car. Oh god, and a snuff. Brown nose. What, what's this? What's that saying? Um, what number of what number of immigrants came over on that boat? Actually, I could earn a lot of money doing that, couldn't I? Even though I'm dead set against the idea of immigrants coming into the UK, and I am a supporter of UKIP, and I voted for Brexit. Even though I am that type of wanker, I wonder whether I could just make some money getting some immigrants in. Mmm, yum yum. Thing is, right, if they came on my boat, I'd have the fastest engine and they would ride in style. I wouldn't overcrowd it, you know, I would not overcrowd it, it would, it would all be good. Now I'm taking the wrong route here, aren't I? Damn it. I want to come in from the other direction. Oof. I want to come in from the other direction because I need to park my car in such a way... Uh, uh, I could do it. I'm just trying to think now. Uh, it's tight. It's tight. The roundabout is tight. Could I, could I turn it? Possibly. Ah, sod it. It's going this way. Let's go in this way. So, I'll be cutting off in a few minutes because then when I get home I'm going to be uh, needing to manoeuvre the boat. And um, so, Nick says he's a Brexit wanker as well. You could normally get 40 on a boat that size. Yeah, I probably could, actually. Yeah. But then the thing is, where would I go to actually steer the boat? It's like I'd be stuck in the middle of, like, people and having to stand up to steer the bloody boat. But, yeah. Indeed. You are right. 
the thing is, I wouldn't really have to worry too much because what you do, see, is you, you take a Kraken with you, yeah, and halfway across the channel, you um, chuck everybody in the Kraken and then you, um, you know, you just sort of push them in the direction of uh, the UK and then channel. There's a load of immigrants floating in the channel in a, in a boat and I, and I think you should come out and get them and then the immigration people, you know, customs people will come and get them and they'll tow them in. So you don't even have to land them. You know, you just have to take them halfway and then chuck them in an old, uh, an old um, life raft. A job done. Ka-ching, ka-ching. No, it's a terrible idea. I think it's disgusting what people are doing with trying to get people across. And I'll be glad when we're 100% out of the EU and we can start building up our borders again because that's got to stop. That has got to stop. And if these people are caught out in the middle of the waters, it should be France coming and collecting, not bloody the UK. Bit too much of a soft bloody touch we are. I mean, how many times? I don't, I don't know for certain, but I mean, how many times is France going out and recovering these people, or is it just us, bloody UK soft touch? You know. So I'm definitely going to lose signal. After I go up this hill, down the other side, once I get into near where I live, I'm going to lose the signal. So this is a, yeah. So I probably have to say my goodbyes now. Um, fuck borders and, and give freedom of movement for everyone. Really? That wouldn't work out very well, I don't think. Because you'd have half of Africa coming to live in the UK, you know, because they think this is a land milk and honey and they're not half wrong actually I mean and uh, I don't think it'd work out very well somehow but yeah nice nice sentiment but uh, hmm, don't quite think it would work in practice sure This is uh, the top of the hill, so I better cut it now because you can probably hear me okay because we've got a good signal to the mast which is over there. But I'm going to cut the stream now because I know once we get into my village, you don't get much of anything. So uh, it's been very nice having you on board. And thank you very much. What's the same? Boris says he's replacing the same amount of immigrants with legal ones. Oh, right, okay. Praise, praise be to Raptor Jesus. Cheers, mate, and good luck with the neighbours. Yeah, I will need it. I will need it. And I can see a helicopter gunship up there, because we're right next to Soul Story Play, and I can see a helicopter gunship practising shooting poor people in poor countries. So, um, yeah. Anyway, right, I'd probably cut off now, so I'll catch you later, folks. Catch you later. All the best. Thanks for, thanks for staying with us, and thank you for the people who donated. You are legends. Thank you very much.